coming up. All right, I hope you got your big girl panties on. Come on, let's see jazz hands. Walter was doing some kind of weird nose thing there just now. There you go. There you go, Rod Mills is in the house. There goes Rod. Okay, this, this is episode 257 of the Who Move My Freedom podcast coming to you live from the Strange Media Studios in Gainesville, Florida. Jump on, let's do it. It's Free For All Monday. Mm. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? What's going on? It's been a while. Yeah, Rod. Uh, I know you got the NFL thing going now, so... Yeah. yeah, man. Um, guns and shooting kind of taking a, uh, oh, a back seat. Yeah, a little bit of a back seat, right? Not yeah, totally a little bit of a back seat. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Cool. Well, today we're going to talk about guns and other things. It's free for all Monday. I want to talk about how to lay down your tools. Do you know what I mean by that? Who no. knows what I mean by that? I, I how to lay down your tools. Anyone know? I mean, I'm I'm trying to be PC because... If we put guns or weapons or firearms or your bang sticks or whatever in there, <laughs> you know, YouTube doesn't like it. But, yeah, let's talk about how to lay these things down. Um, I don't know about you guys. This is my method of how to lay it down. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. how many inches how do you, is that? How do, you, how, do you, how do you lay it down? I don't even have optics on this thing. I need to, how get, many some, inches I need is to get some optics up on There's this. There's more light how on How many it. inches is it? Yeah. It's this is this comes out to uh, a sixteen overall. Sixteen inches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you it's know it's trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. I I caught that. I caught that. Um, it's it, let me tell you, it's sixteen times longer than a snail penis. Oh, <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> so we're gonna talk. The reason why I'm I put that is because there's people out there that want you to lay down your arms, and uh, we're gonna talk about ways of doing it. Which basically we're being facetious because there's no way in hell that I'm laying my guns down. What about you, Walter? Are you laying something down? Negative. Other than some pipe? Negative. Only thing I lay down is a is a. No, negative. Yes. Right? <laughs> what about you, Rod? <laughs> Man, Your name is Rod, I'm, so I mean, I'm, you know. <laughs> only thing I lay down is my head at night. Um, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Everything else, hey, it's in my hand. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna talk about that whole bunch of things. It's free for all Monday. We could talk about whatever you, Rod, like whatever you want to talk about, whatever Walter wants to talk about. I'm looking. Look at, I'm looking. Look at Walter. Walter is like in the shadows. Got his Tyvin hat on. Yeah, because Tyvin's got his event going on today. So uh, oh, that's the Tyvin. event today. The event is today. So shout out to everyone. Uh, let us know. I don't know if anyone's coming in live from that event. I don't know. Is, I, it, is it today or tomorrow? Today's the first. The, it started the day. Really? I thought it was the second and the third. Okay, let me. Yeah, I, well, I, this morning at seven o'clock or, or a little bit after seven, I was getting ready to go to work and he's live on, you know, talking about his event already. So, okay. All right, cool. All right. Hey, so we'll get a check. Yeah, we'll get a check in on that. We'll also shout out everyone. You guys can let us know what you want to talk about. I know it's the anniversary of what happened in Vegas. Um, therefore, the ATF has got some things out there. The, you know, the ATF. On the directions of wait for it, guess who is pushing the ATF to ban bump stocks? Who wants to take a guess? Uh, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> no. Tip, on, tip O'Neill. No, no, no. All right, there's there's a trivia question for you, uh, for you younglings out there. You, there's, there. you can't have a trivia thing anymore because the first thing they do is get on the phone and, and get the answer. You know, you can't say who's Tip O'Neill and they go, I'll tip on there. Oh, uh, he history. tried to run for president. What was he? A, was he a, was, uh, a, speaker, of a house. speaker of the house? Speaker Democrat, of the house. Yeah, Democrat speaker of the house. Back back in the day when the Democrats acted like civilized human beings. Yes. Oh, that must have been a long time ago. <laughs> back in the seventies. Yeah, in the it 80s. definitely hasn't been in the last uh, couple of years. Actually, when every, when everything wasn't a uh, a screaming crisis. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, Trump, that's the answer. Trump is, uh, along, with the, uh, along with our beloved NRA, is pushing for banning of the bump stock and whatever goes along with that. So that kind of, even though, even though I think I read somewhere that the ATF never even looked 
at the guns that the shooter used in Las Vegas. I don't, I don't believe they that. They didn't look at the bump stocks. They, okay, I'm pretty sure. Uh, someone sent me, people are always sending me news articles and things like that, and I'm looking at it. We could definitely, they we could definitely verify. Else. Well, they would look at them normally, nothing else, just to run the serial numbers to see the, do the, do the, where they came from. I mean, that's, that's standard crime scene stuff there, but. Hey. Maybe maybe when the government does the job, then it's not that way. Well, would, would the ATF look at it or the FBI? I mean, you like, know, the FBI says they don't even know why the guy did it. They just closed the case. Well, you know, Las Vegas doesn't even have video of it, even though it's freaking Las Vegas. <laughs> if you took a fart in the elevator in Las Vegas, they will tell you what you have for dinner. Yeah, I'll have to try that next time I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they somehow have no footage. They don't know what, like, what motivations. They don't know nothing. It's like, like, hey, let's just close this case. And by the way, we're going to ban bump stocks. There you go. <laughs> by the way, yeah, <laughs> you know, we did something about this. Uh, um, and and speaking of that, the stupid crap that came into effect this October first. The stuff that I refuse to acknowledge that's supposed to be in effect here in Florida that is 100% unconstitutional. Oh, without a doubt. You know, um, lots of things going on there. Apparently, there's a whole bunch of people driving or shipping things from Florida to other places. You know, some of those people I know. So, <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Lots of migration. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of those kinds of things going on there. So we're going to talk about all of that. I encourage everyone to hit the thumbs ups. Really important. I hope you guys watching this all thumbs up this video, Walter. I'm all up my thumbs, yeah. I'm looking at you, Walter. I'm looking I'm at you. I just did my, my thumbs up on there. How many, how many thumbs ups do we have? Take the thumbs out of the whatever, whatever orifices you got them in, you know. 33. Some people have multiple orifices with the, you know, you got two thumbs at least. Yep. You know, some people have multiple ones, so take them out wherever you got them. Yep. And uh, and hit the thumbs ups. If you really hate us, you could do the thumbs downs. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know. Yeah. I mean, there might be some people out there that really hate us. I don't know why. You know. Probably more than a few. Yeah. You know. Haters. Yeah. <laughs> haters didn't get none of my fried taters tonight that I made for breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. You made. Well, you made what? I made. I made scrambled eggs, bacon. Some sausage and some fried potatoes for dinner. Oh, so you oh you have Did breakfast you for dinner pig? once a week. <laughs> is, is this like a once a week thing? What what the breakfast for dinner? Yeah. Um, it just depends on. We got home and it's like, what's Spencer's like? What's for dinner? And it's like, we just got this big bag of potatoes from Costco and they're sitting on the counter. So it's like, I guess we're having fried potatoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you say, Rod? What were you saying? No, I was wondering, did Peggy actually make it? Oh no! If it's breakfast for dinner, that's Walter's territory. Oh, Walter's yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's turn this light. Man. Let's see here. Uh, well, you have night issues. Light. Uh, listen, you you know, you 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 gotta. You're a beautiful man. You're a beautiful man. Don't worry about here. it. I look good here. As long as we don't have to put on shades to look at you, you're not too white. <laughs> what can I say? Casper. Well, I, got, I got a question for Rod. Don't have to worry about it because he's already got the thing going on. But is uh. Is uh November is like no shave November. That's what the you know college students do and stuff. You know, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. you, are you uh. thinking about doing that? But I'm kind of scruffy right now. But if I do the other thing, I'll probably look like uh, look like a homeless guy or something. No, really, I want to see this. <laughs> Walter, you ought to get it like uh, the guys from uh, Duck Dynasty. Oh Lord! Oh, no, oh no, no, no! That's out of control. That's yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see it. I'm, I'm, I've been trying to grow a beard for a long time, so I'm not shaving. I'm trying to. I bet this is all I got. I've been doing it for months. Forget about no shave ever. Damn, <laughs> I've that's trying. months. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying, man. It's not really working. Wow. I got a couple of gray hairs here and there. You know, it's just, ah, it's just really tough, man. It's tough. No, hey, yeah. nothing wrong with gray hair. Yeah. Not if yet. you guys are nice, Walter was showing his, you missed it, Rod. Walter was showing us his yearbook pictures last week. <laughs> oh, the reason he was a, he was a good look. He was a sexy dude. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And that's from, that's from, that's from a guy. Yeah. It was, he, <laughs> you know, um, back the in reason, the 80s. Rod, the, the, Rod, the reason I showed um, the yearbook pictures is because of the stuff going on with uh, Kavanaugh. 
and the drinking beer and all that. Well, my, oh yeah, I saw that. The, the club, the club that I was in in high school, uh, we took our club pitcher. We had a a, a keg, a beer keg in the mm -hmm. club pitcher, you know, with a tap on the whole nine yards. So right, and, right. You know, yeah. School, wow. school gym, by the way. So yeah, Hell, we did that in college too. So I understand yeah. what you mean. I hey, yeah. I can't. For first and foremost, I, only thing I remember from high school was graduation. Maybe a couple of little small other things. Hell, it's been 30, last year was 30 years yeah. anniversary for me. So, oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, everybody's got, I'm like, is it me or is it that everybody's got like photographic memories from high school? No. Over, it's not. No, they I'm don't. Like, how the hell are y'all remembering all of this stuff? I, I remember a little, I remember things that I said to people sometimes and stuff like that, but. But not not this. Yeah, but you don't you don't remember day in and day out what you did this no, day and this. No, not really. I would I would have to think to remember the names of teachers, which you know, um, I would definitely have to think to remember. I can't remember the names of my girlfriends. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you had that yeah. um that uh, ready for the world thing going on. So I understand. Oh, what? What do you, you mean ready for the world? You know, ready for the world, the singing group, ready for the world. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> The Jerry Curls. <laughs> oh boy, do we have to get into that again? We're not gonna get into that. We're not. Do we gonna have get to get into that again, Rod? <laughs> Seriously, Rod. I'm, all I want to know is this: Hey, did you have a rat tail going in the back? You know, that was all curly. Right, Rod. I am Indian. But that ain't got anything <laughs> to do with your hair. The type of haircut you got. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Where, Wait, I think you. I think you, either you had a rat tail or a shag. Um, no, I actually had, I had different, I had different hairdos. Look, you know what? After I do the shout outs, I will show you. I will show you. Uh -oh. I, can't, I can't actually show you this picture. Look, here is a picture of me when oh, I was hey. in Nigeria. Hey, so check a, that out. We want to so see the Jerry it. curl, man. So look at this. This is a picture of me. The, this is my, this is my older brother, Anonymous. Is that you all the way to the that's, right? That's my younger brother right here. This is my, this is my little sister. Oh. And that's me right there. So I don't know how close you guys could see all of is that. Is that you with a gun? You got a gun in your hand or something? Uh, one of one one of my brothers might have a gun, a toy gun oh. or something like that. I don't know. Oh, okay. We're right. blown. It's uh, it's my sister. She is, I think, right here. She's about a year, maybe two years old or something like that. So, uh -huh. are you the oldest yeah, brother? That was in Nigeria. No, mm -mm. I'm the middle. Oh man, you look the big. You the biggest on there. Though. I'm the middle. Uh, probably I have the biggest head. The biggest. <laughs> hey, you talking about Walter's head? <laughs> Great heads grow alike. <laughs> <laughs> they grow out, not up. <laughs> yes. I see in the chat, Mubets. Mubet says, uh, "Porn stash for November, Movember." Porn stash. Oh my God! Porn I stash. wish. I wish I could do a porn stash. Walter. Can you do? Can you do a porn stash, Walter? A porn, one of the big, like a Tom Selleck. Yeah. 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 I, I I could probably grow one, but I ain't gonna do that. No way. <laughs> like, oh, you can't do a walrus. What about you, Rod? Can you do a walrus stash? You know what? I could do it, but man, but I get real irritated when I have a lot of hair on my, you know, upper lip up there, man. Okay. I, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I, um, I can no, stand. No, no, I can stand this, but I can't. You know, I kind of trim it up there. Oh, even damn like, it! Even I'll, like yours I'll, is I'll too even, much. I don't even like to be scruffy. You know, that's it. Yeah. Oh. See, Walter, we could have done a porn stash, um, you know, packed or something like that. We could have all had porn stashes. Ah, well, Walter, that kind of reminds me of that uh, Seinfeld episode when he, uh, when you did just did that, when he uh, kind of didn't he shave his chest or something? Oh. Who, who, what Seinfeld or yeah. what Seinfeld? Um, yeah, remember he shaved his chest and he was always scratching and itching. He kept shaving it and it kept growing thicker and thicker. Uh. <laughs> Seinfeld? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the Seinfeld episodes. Well, oh, okay. If you guys are over what under uh what 35, you probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So. I, I I the Seinfeld, I every once in a while I watch it, but that show annoyed the crap out of me. Man, I love Seinfeld. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it depends where you come from. I I looked at them, but I don't remember Seinfeld ever doing that. Maybe one of the other guys, not Kramer. Um, what's his name? No, it, it was Seinfeld. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that was one of the more famous episodes. Okay, I have to. Yeah. I would have to go back and look at that. Let's shout out the people real quick in the chat, please. People, hit the thumbs ups, share the video. We appreciate you for doing it. E Rock is in here. Christopher Williams, Richard Hughes. 
I don't know if Richard Hughes, if you are at the uh, the event with the Tyvin show, let us know. But I see Richard Hughes is in the chat here. We've also got STL Storm Spotter, Henry 42, David G, Jerry Woodman, the Archangel, Chris Bullis, Tactical Flip Flops. <laughs> As Richard Hughes changed it, he changed his name to Tactical Flip Flops. So, or or he has another account called Tactical Flip Flops. One of those. <laughs> the Archangel, <laughs> Philip Goins. Uh, let's see, Vanessa Kitty is here. Ron and Ron is here. Rodney Brady. Also here, um, let's see who else we got. Screaming Skull Saloon and uh, uh, Bricks also in the building. Let's see. Jason Shear, James Lawson, Greg 98K, Ridge Runner, Jade Grew, Special K, Tango Hunter as well. Shout out to Special K and Tango Hunter. We've got Boss Hog, Rick Hunter. So we've got many hunters. Hunter. In the in the chat right now, huntresses, the huntress. Uh, yeah, that's what we need. We need a huntress up in there. Boss Hog says Kevin Dixie's coming to Houston this week, hoping to have lunch. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Let us know how that goes. Michael Bender also in there, flopping garbage. Let's see who else we got. Paul K. Okay, that's Scorched Earth Firearms. That's Rod for everyone. So go follow Scorched Earth Firearms. There he Scorched goes. Earth, uh, Facebook and YouTube. Yep, that's Rod. Uh, Kiaski is here as well. Rob Avis, Scamp 900. Scamp 900 says, hello, fellow Floridians. We have 36 days until we officially become Little California. <laughs> if Andrew Gillum wins. No way. There you go. There you uh -huh. go. Rob, were you just throwing up a gun? Uh, not, no, that was Walter. Were you throwing up a gun? That was Makarov. Yeah. Oh, Makarov, Makarov. Very cool. Very nice. Love the Makarov. Horn's getting thrown up. Um, when uh, when Andrew Gillum wins, then um, Rod Mills will be. What are you going to be, Rod Mills? Secretary of the Interior? <laughs> no. I'm, oh, uh, are you still supporting Gillum? Did you see that text I uh, put you, sent you on uh, Facebook? No. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, I went in on him. Oh, you did? Yeah, uh, and I told him that uh, he needs to change that his stance. <laughs> How did that go? Okay, news for you. Well, in, a, in, a, in an intelligent way. I mean, I did a tweet to him, rather. Oh, okay. okay. And um, um, didn't hear anything back, but, you know, so, hey, it is what it is. But, you know, I wanted to at least voice my opinion to him. Okay. So, so should I take that? Are you, are you laying down your guns <laughs> or is it from your cold, dead hands? Which one is it? Where are you from at? Me? Yeah. My question that was for me. Yeah, I want to oh. know. Like, are you laying down? You are you still going to vote for him, or are you like, no, you know, that's not happening. They're going to take my gun. You know what? Um, I'm more so sixty forty uh, with DeSantis right now. Okay. So you know, before I was more. I think last time I was in here, I was probably ninety ten. Get him. <laughs> so you know, it's just been some things that I've done on my own. Yeah. You know, so the more research. the more so is it because Gillum is coming out now with a lot of like anti-gun rhetoric and all that you're changing well, your stance? That, that's well no nah, that's that's probably maybe the um the what the straw that's breaking the camel's back. Uh, mm -hmm. there's some other things that he's he's doing behind the scenes that I'm not really a big fan of. Okay. Uh, like being a politician, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean you can't trust any politician. I don't care what uh what yeah, that's true. From, Absolutely, you know? that's one hundred percent true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, they, you know, they're all snakes uh, from Republicans and Democrats. So, uh, a lot of times, you just gotta ask yourself, okay, which snake am I gonna have the most <laughs> fatal bite from? You know, <laughs> well, they're all yeah. snakes, so. That's part of it. Yeah, all of them are doing this just to freaking, you know, buy your vote. You know. And you know <laughs> he wants to tax your vote though. That's exactly. A, yeah, but Florida. I'm not good with Florida. Florida needs to be free. Florida needs to be free. I yeah. don't want to say it needs to remain free. It needs to be free because we gave up some freedoms. But Florida is the gunshine state. Damn it. <laughs> right. Yeah, not the. Not the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And we gave up a lot under uh, Ron, uh, Rick Scott. Oh so. hell's yeah, hell's yeah. Who I'm is, not. I'm not voting for Rick Scott for anything. I'm not voting right. for Rick Scott for anything. That's not. Right. I don't want him to be dog catcher. I don't oh, want him to be a. Out. I don't want him to be the dog poop sweeper upper. 
Yeah. <laughs> in Florida. So yeah, I didn't I didn't know Mike Mike Bender was a uh, Cuban. Oh, oh no, I didn't know that either. Is he what did he say? Is he saying something in the chat? He said, take it from a Cuban, no socialism ever. Oh no. Hells yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's true. Um any put your hands up if you were born in a socialist country. <laughs> <laughs> right here i know what that's like so there's no way in hell i want to see florida become that so you know and my my parents know better than me i left i left there when i was young but my parents know better than i do um although they've still they were still brainwashed man brainwashing is like a really tough thing you never yeah. you never really 100 percent get out of it so right um you know thank goodness i didn't have to grow up there and my kids didn't have to be born there Nope. So uh, let's see. Let's just try to end this out here real quick. The shout outs to people. Flopping Garbage, Who Say, um, let's see, Figrian, 68, Music Lover, Brian Quick. Uh, who else do we got in here? Whenever I hear that Who Say, I always think of who's, who day and, who, who day and Who Say. Yeah, uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's, that's Saddam's uh, sons. Yeah, Saddam Hussein. Yeah, those yeah. were his boys. Yeah. Who they day? caught them first. They got those dudes first. Yeah, right? they, they, yeah. The 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 fourth ID caught those guys in their one of their hiding places and blew the fuck out of the building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, hold on. So I know one of them died. Both of them are dead. Same time. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Same yeah. same shootout. Um. The only did uh did Saddam Hussein's who was it like his daughter or something? The the they wife and the, the the females are still alive. Yeah. They're living so. they're living abroad, yeah. Where do, where do you think they live at? Somewhere in Europe. Yeah. But didn't Saddam Hussein like execute one of his daughter's husbands or some yeah. craziness? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that I can get I can I can confirm. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, that I think that all and happened before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that went down. And his daughter was like begging him not to execute her husband. Yeah. <laughs> you won't hear it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, as as Kavanaugh said recently, but not in a threatening way. Although Democrats will have you believe it, what comes around goes around. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is a universal law. It's only a matter of time, baby. Yeah, yeah, universal law of life, nature, in the universe. Yes, everything goes in big circles, and it oh, comes yeah. right back around. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> but watch yourself. Yeah, you shove a you shove a uh, a sword up somebody's patuka. <laughs> Somebody shoves a sword up your patuka. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. Um, <laughs> what? No, I, uh, I think somebody. Uh, this is kind of similar but different. I, somebody put a post on Facebook. I think it was where I saw where it said the last time the Muslims invaded Europe, Vlad the Impaler put them up, shoved uh, stakes up their ass. And yeah, I saw that on polls, and I I think that might have been our, our friend um, Cujo. Um, oh really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw that yesterday. <laughs> and I, oh I had boy, Vlad the Impaler, he was a good yeah. dude. You know. Uh yeah, Sean is always on fire with that stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see who I'm trying to get. Who I didn't. Uh, okay, my thing just jumped down to the bottom. So <laughs> tacos and French fries, Sman seventy two ninety. Um, let's see, RTS guy. I think I got uh, Michael Bender. Big Dick Willie is here. Big CB. Dick Yes, up, CB's BD, here, Jumpy Killer QX. Um, there was something here that someone wanted me to do a shout out, but it I don't know what that oh Mr. F and H says uh Mr. F and H says RIP my post 86 full auto rights. <laughs> 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 yes, rest in peace, but you know, we can we can have it again. We can have it again. One way or the other, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Um uh, Bruce Ludman wants to know if anyone bought anything from Gun Prime. Yes, if you notice, we've got Gun Prime here, so we're we're doing some Gun Prime deals. Which here, you know what? Lola sent this to me before she left. Let me share that with you guys. Uh, Gun Prime is always has a bunch of deals, and we're going to be sharing stuff with them and even doing some uh, giveaways here in the future with those guys. Just FYI. Yeah. Also, if you're into if you're into um, Caltech stuff, Gun Prime always has. Um, Caltech stuff. Yeah. Amazingly. So I saw on. something interesting last night, a little flash I found interesting. Anybody, I, 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 there's a show on Discovery, uh, I think, called uh, Alaskan Bush People. And they, Bush. they follow this family out in the bush. They live out in the bush and do all this crazy stuff. But mm -hmm. the film crew follow them around. They got security for the bears walking around. Mm -hmm. 
and one of the guys was carrying a a KS a KSG for for security. A KSG, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it just like the black one? Was it a different it was, color? It was like a gray colored one, I guess you call oh, it. Oh yeah, that's the um, that's kind the of titanium. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool, man. Yeah. yeah. That's the titanium one. So Gun Prime has, they always have Keltec stuff. Right now, this deal that Lolo was sharing is is the uh, Walther, not the Walter, the Walther PPS M2, nine millimeter, 3.2 inch barrel, seven round, um, black for 275 from Gun Prime. Wow. Comes with two mags. So that's that's the deal. I share, I share the link. Okay. here with you guys uh okay. for anyone who's interested yeah going forward we'll be sharing more um deals from them and stuff like that with the gun prime folks yeah, that's, so. that's not, that's not a bad looking gun yeah. hey um i did get an email today from uh aim surplus that mm -hmm. oh. the um the beretta t3x or tx3 t3x mm -hmm. uh they've marked it down to 1500 and change that that uh, rifle, um, originally, I think it's uh, actually it's 308. It originally went for like 1900 last year. I know that for a fact because I, I I still want one. Uh, the Tika, for, the yeah, Tika? the Tika, yeah, the okay. uh, the Tika, yeah, TX3. Uh, mm -hmm. It is. Uh, they have it now on their website for 1500 and change. 1500. Mm -hmm. Is it is yeah. it only the 308 one? Because I think isn't there a six three hey. more of that? Yeah, they got yeah they got a six point five Creed more, but this is only the three hundred eight that they have. Oh, uh, okay. And also, if I'm not mistaken, Aim Surplus, I think it was Aim, had uh, Smith and Wesson M and P's like police trade ins. Yeah, four, forty cal ones for like two seventy five. Yeah, two yep. forty nine. Somebody that two forty nine. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, they're already. I saw Sig <laughs> three. I saw Sig three P three twenties police trades already. Uh, really? They, yeah, that they had that for, they got that for three eighty nine, I believe. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. that gun's not. How old is that gun? It's a year old. Two a years? year. Yeah. And they're already trading them in. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh man. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but they might have had those in advance of everyone else. Yeah, well, maybe. You know, they might have had those in advance of everyone. But look, there's a lot. There's lots of good deals out there. So that's the beautiful thing. We're not, we're not even in like the the real gun season hasn't even kicked off yet, and there's tons of good deals out there. Oh yeah. yeah. So. Another thing for you guys that build Glocks just for fun, um, Centerfire System has uh, the 40 cal Glock frames, just a frame only for like miscellaneous models and everything. Twenty five bucks. So if you want to build a build one from parts, if you don't mind a 40 cal, I think that was 40 cal. The 20 was it 22? The Glock 22. Anyways, yeah, hmm. block frame, twenty five bucks. Yeah, hmm. that's cheap. Yeah, that's lots cheap, of man. there's lots of there's lots of good deals going on out there. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, uh, if you guys have deals, let us know. We'll share deals with you. We always have a bunch yeah. of different deals going on. Oh, yeah. um, what do you guys think about Walther going back to this Gun Prime deal for a second here? Oh, that price? Yeah. Do you, yeah. Are you guys Walther fans? Not Wal Walther. I, I I don't have any problem with Walter. I'm kind of an old school Walter guy, but uh, mm -hmm. um, no, there's nothing wrong with that stuff. Yeah. And by the way, I see some other things here too, like uh, well, the PPQ. Thing. They've got a PPQ for five seventy five. You know, they've got <laughs> the uh, the Chris Vector, but it's the forty for like nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. Yeah. Pop out chat. Let's see. That. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, there's a lot of deals out there. Yeah, they've got it. They've right now. Right now, Gun Prime has the Caltech KSG for six forty nine for the KSG. Yeah, that's a good price. Yeah, that's a good price. So, uh, look, um, yeah. Move Bus says the three twenty was released in January twenty fourteen. Oh, oh, they have a Steyr L nine. Wait a second. Oh, <laughs> oh wait a minute. <laughs> let me go. To, let me go back. Star, do you like the Star L die? Because that's a good gun. I don't. I don't have one. Um, I've had lots of friends that here. Let me let me throw, let me throw that up here for a second. But I've uh, I've had lots of friends that have had the uh, the uh, Star, and those are you know I actually 
I think they're cool, man. I think that I like the uh, I like the uh, the sights and everything on there. It's got kind of like that pyramid. Have you ever seen the Steyr, Walter? Is it? Hang on. What the, I mean? the Steyr pistol, not the not yeah, the like yeah, obviously yeah, there's yeah, a bullpup. Give me a second. If it's the one I'm, yeah, so yeah. it's got a, That's got a very unique uh, grip angle and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think though those are actually older than Glocks. They've been around for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Old time. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, oh, and I see a Keltec RDB here for yeah. eight hundred bucks. Okay, I got to stop looking at this thing right now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Walter, I got a question for you. Sure. You might know the answer to this. Ever since we were talking about uh, Saddam Hussein's son, mm -hmm. I've actually been vid video. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, searching on uh, Google, uh, and, and I'm getting results from uh, their photos from after, before and after they died. Man, they are jacked up when they got killed. Well, they uh, hit, like they were saying in the chat, they hit them with like AT4 missiles and just yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> and they found. Know, the, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say they found it was like Uday or Kuse, whichever one was. One of them was messed up as far as being able to walk and stuff. But he had a bunch of he had a bunch of Viagra with him and he died. Really? <laughs> yeah. <he was>. Wow. <laughs> they said he had Viagra all over the place, man. So yeah, he was ready wow. to do it. And his kids were there. They killed the kids too at the same time. So mm. oh wow. Yeah, they were hiding out with the kids. I think the kids were all killed too. So oh wow. Okay. Those guys were leading the insurgency, if I'm yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, were, so do we yeah. know if there were ever any photos of um, Bin Laden? After he no. got killed, no. Okay, so these they must didn't, be fake. They didn't want to put no pictures out because they didn't want to get. Oh, how do we say this and be nice? They didn't want to get the Indians stirred up. They didn't want to get people riled up or give people reason yeah. to be extra riled up. Oh, okay, I'm looking at a picture here of a a guy that's dead. They were saying this uh, Bin Laden, but I supposedly guess supposedly he had over a hundred rounds in him when he. Because after, after he was dead, they just went by and kept shooting him. Everybody got a got some rounds in him just to. Oh, yeah. You know, you've been chasing the guy. You know. Yeah, I got you. That's life yeah. in the big city. Oh, Screaming Skull <laughs> Saloon said he sent me a picture of his uh, of his uh, style. I have a feeling they wrapped him up in a wire and and he became crab bait. So um, they threw him in the ocean someplace. He's uh, uh, with the Little Mermaid. Yeah, they weighted him down and probably wrapped him up in yeah. chain link fence. What is that was... song? Under the sea. <laughs> Under the sea. I be <laughs> crappy. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. cold. Okay, I know that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't cold. He deserved everything he got. Oh, yeah, true. All those motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's see here. We got. Let's see what else we have going on. A uh, bunch of things. Oh, you know what? I want to remind everyone. Shit that needs to be said, like what we're talking right now. <laughs> author from the author Joshua Coburn, he's yeah. going to be on tomorrow. Oh, cool. Well, he's coming in, very motivational. You know, cool. um, shit that needs to be said is his book. It's kind of like uh, a motivational uh, Bible, in my opinion. So you can open it up any day and uh, flip through there and, you know, find motivational stuff to keep you going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To keep you going. So, we all need that, I think. Yeah, every once in a while, yeah. Yeah. You know, I yeah, think we all need it. We all have to keep ourselves motivated moving forward here. So yeah. we're gonna have we're gonna have Josh Coburn coming in. He's gonna talk to us tomorrow. We're gonna have that going on. The main point of our show, we're talking about pretty much anything. Whatever you guys want to talk to us about, um, let us know. What was this? Uh Jim Way Jam wants to know, Walter. What was the website Walter said had the Glock frames? Was that uh, um Centerfire um actually I received an email from my Center Fire Systems um, salesperson, um, but they said they had these. So you might, if you call, I don't know if you're going to get, if you call the regular numbers, I don't know if you're going to be able to get somebody to talk to about that, but just just see what happens, you know. Center Fire Systems? Center Fire Systems, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, by the way, I just got this picture. Now I'm officially jealous. What's that? You got so a picture of Bin Laden? No, no. Um, so check it out. This is this is the Steyr Aug and the Steyr oh. Pistol. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rock this combo now. <laughs> you know, I could really. He's got, he's I, got the the combo, huh? I I could I could in the past one up him. I used to have a uh, I used to have a Steyr made. Well, actually, I got a Steyr made MG42 belt fed machine gun. Yes, and, okay, and I used right. to have a Steyr made uh, MP40. 
until I sold it. I cut you it up. It. Okay, you, I you did what? It. it was a post sample. I cut it back up and sold it for parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody I wanted thought, it. I um, mentioned it to somebody once, and the guy bag, bugged the crap out of me about it, and I finally, <laughs> I finally took his twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. But oh, so there is a level of harassment at which you will break. <laughs> well, I, I learned if I don't want to sell something to somebody, don't mention it then. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, besides, yeah. I, the money I could you can always use the money too. So, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Sires made everything well. The Pinsgauer that I have and the Halflinger, both made by Steyr. Yeah. So it's the same company, just uh, they've made everything from mopeds to big, huge ass trucks. So. Yeah. I, I think, you know, they do some cool things. I should get one of those pistols. I've done videos on it. Uh, I was going to buy, I was going to buy a Steyr pistol before um, used that was at a pawn shop. Yeah. And then my friend, uh, Bubba Roadkill, like I made the mistake of telling him that thing you was. Pull it out from under you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good for him now. <laughs> yeah, he got it was a really good deal. I, I was just like, I don't know why I was procrastinating. You were hesitant. But, yeah. yeah. See, now, now that I realize you can get the combo, I mean, now I have to get the OD green to go with my OD green styrog. So probably somebody makes a special holster for that too. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> Anything and everything's all possible. Um, so okay, Kiaski says you see the Springfield XDs for three thirty nine on PSA. No, I didn't see yes, that. I I'm did. Not... Yes, oh, you did? did. Okay, yeah, I did. Um, are you buy? Do you buy Springfields? I don't. I don't buy Springfields any. I had them in the past, but I don't. Know yeah. Do um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I've seen a lot of good deals on stuff. I can't buy nothing yeah. right now because I'm yeah. kind of. Yeah, that's a good price though. It's kind of it's getting real cheap. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was yeah. so tempted. There's also on Centerfire Systems, if anybody likes um, likes the 410 shotgun thing, they've got their 410 sh uh, uppers. They mm -hmm. go on an AR lower for two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good deal, too, if you like that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so Rockstar6111 says, How come I never see or hear about any night vision love from y'all? It's like why come, why come, why Walter? comes? I don't do don't it. Give the night vision. Well, that's not true, right? You got night vision. Yeah, I don't have any current stuff. I got mostly older stuff. Um, I, I don't have night. reason to have night vision. I'm sleep at night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a flashlight. You got a different kind of night vision. Don't, don't lie. <laughs> I, got, I got a freaking flashlight. Hey, <laughs> that's my night vision. Rod's like, I got your night vision right here. <laughs> Walter, you've got the old school ones. Where is yeah, that I, thing? Oh, I, I don't want to dig that out right now. No. No. Okay. I, uh, well, I might. I might just give. Come on, second. Walter. Come, come on. on. Come on, man. Yeah. I come know on. We, have, we have Santa Claus. Yeah, we have some <laughs> stuff that we're testing. We need to. We need to um, get some videos done on that. Actually. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Um. I we, bought. Speaking of that, I got for Hank some first generation Czechoslovakian tank goggles. That he's, that yeah. He's gonna get yeah. Here. Yeah. Sitting in my shop here. Yeah. So, where are those things? Where are they? It's a shop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when it, and when, it, when it cools off a little bit, we can play with that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Speaking of which, Walter. Oh, yeah. Open that up. Open that up. Show everybody. Open that up in a second. I want to show. Dude, have you guys seen this? I reserve yeah, right. it. Yeah, I've yeah. seen yeah. that before. That's pretty bad there. Yeah. Um, I like this. I like this thing. But, you yeah. know, have you noticed there's like some stuff that is. Uh, well, why you got a belt fed? Belt fed yeah. with a shotgun. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. <laughs> this is a break open. This looks like a side by side, right? Yeah, that's an old school uh, exposed hammer. Um, shotgun, this looks like is this two two three or three oh eight? Uh, That'd be uh, like three oh eight, man. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> is there a side by side three oh eight? Belt fed. I don't know. Belt fed shotgun. Belt fed yeah, shotgun. <laughs> that felt that. Because Walter. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you make that? No. Uh, Some, you see the videos on the internet? Somebody made a belt fed shotgun. Um. Kind of looks like a 1919, but shotgun size. Uh, did Check I, it out. It's out there, man. Yeah, I think I did see that. I know that there's some, there's a belt fed. I put a, a link up in the chat to something belt fed that we'll get into and talk to oh, about okay. in a second. So, uh, by the way, this is the uh, the OKC ASEC knife that I'm going to use. Someone was telling me that they... Uh, and Walter, you would probably know more about this. So here's the ASEC knife. Okay, that's a this, that's an Air Force survival knife. Yeah, there you go. Well, um, a modernized version. Yeah, I think this I think this came from uh, Brownells. Oh, okay. So I've got to I've I've got to do some knife stuff here. That so, that sheath is like what you 
Actually, if I dig into my safest hit guide here, I could yeah. probably pull you out the original one. Yeah, because um, yeah, you know who was telling me that? Um, our friend Jesse James was telling me that, like all the Air, the Air Force guys had these to rescue themselves. I guess. Oh, yeah, it's part of the kit. Rod, Rod Mills throwing up a knife. Throwing oh. up a. Go ahead, Rod. Throw it up again. Oh, oh. oh, shiny. This is a Glock. Glock. <laughs> Glock oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. Rod pulled out the Glock knife, Walter. Did you see? Oh, what you want me to pull? <laughs> I was I was gonna reach for it. I was gonna... We know you got the Arlie Emery Glock. Knife. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Did you, did you see the um? You know, it was the fortieth. I think the fortieth anniversary of the Glock knife. No, uh -uh. They, when they, just this year, I guess. Um, hmm. But they came out with some like a special edition of it. What? And I think they were going for upwards of seven hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, what? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Walter. Glock. When you get one, I call dibs. Well, I'm just gonna have to settle for my old. My good old fashioned Arlie Ermey son. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hey, Walter, rest, 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 yeah. rest in peace, you puke. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking down on us from that, uh, from those barracks in the skies yeah, right yeah. now. Hey, so Walter, bring your knife back. I want to show you something that I learned okay. about the Glock 81 knife. All right. Uh, open, you open. know, of course, the uh, Austrian troops uh, use these. Actually, they actually use them, right. and they did it so where they said that it could be a one hand manipulation. Oh, to from, open it. Yeah, you know, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, but you can do this with one faint one hand and take it out. Oh, and it pops out. And it pops out. Yeah. Okay, let's see Walter doing it. Go ahead. Um, okay, Walter doing I mean, it. I'm, I'm kind of you know you'd have it on your side or up here or something. Yeah, but yeah it comes right out. Yeah. So yeah. what is the price of a Glock knife supposed to be if it's not the 40th edition and, and it's not signed by our 20, 20, 20 to thirty dollars depending on yeah, I was gonna say about thirty dollars oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can okay. get them you can get them wholesale for seventeen, eighteen dollars when they run them on special and stuff. Yeah. 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 They're very sharp though. Very good. Um Arley, Arley Army, good guy, man. Uh and when yeah. I go to SEMA this year, I'm gonna miss him. And then when I'm at Shot Show again. Gonna miss him again. <laughs> well, go out there. We saw him out in that hallway there, and do uh, a little prayer for him or something. Yeah, you know? that hall will never be as filled, man, as when Arlie Ermy is out there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this knife. You know what? I'm gonna use the serrated side and go uh -oh. commando. Who knows? It's an opening. Uh, go I, I hope I don't damage whatever's in there. <laughs> go commando. Hey. <laughs> let's see what's in this thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's a shirt. Uh oh, it's a Walter shirt. Nice uh, aqua blue. Oh, there you go, skulls, baby. <laughs> safe, har safety harbor firearm shirt. Sure. No, that ain't that ain't that ain't no safety harbor firearm. Yeah, sure. now that's not quite oh. a mohawk, but it's a pretty cool haircut. That came from Megacon. Yeah, oh, very okay. cool, Walter. Well, Thanks you to you and you, Peggy. And, and you notice what size it is too, right? Uh, Four X. No, two, two X, two that's, X. That's what he oh, wears. Two X, two X. Thank you very much. That's very cool. I appreciate it. You know what else is in there? I love the skulls. I love the skulls. Else what else is in there? Keep looking. Keep digging. Oh boy, there's other oh, stuff boy. in there. Yeah, there's other stuff. Well, in there. You like you like a Second Amendment Santa Claus. Let's something. see this. <laughs> oh, 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 your mo. Oh, it says uh, <laughs> your presents from MegaCon. Love you, Peggy. Yeah, and you and I and I love you back, Peggy. You know that. <laughs> You are my Pigster. favorite. You are my favorite color. Yeah, see, it. You, know how to work it. you know how to say it. And check it out. There goes another skull. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. That's cool. <laughs> Wait. Two weeks ago, you said Will Killer Killer was your favorite killer. No, I never said Will Killer Killer was my favorite. <laughs> I, I might have said that. I might have said it. No. Usually, usually my favorite colors are the women. The, the, the women's. Women colors. Yeah. The women's. The women's. Yes. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> Everybody knows that, Rod. Everybody knows that. And then okay. you're their, you're, and you're their favorite. Okay. Sure. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna cry yeah, now. I'm showing you <laughs> the warm side. Mike <laughs> Bryant says I have to, Mike Bryant says I have to design a limited run of SHTF 50 bayonets. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you can make that a set with the bipod. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey Walter, if you ever find a um a Yugoslavian um uh, Mauser bayonet. Mauser bayonet. Let me know. Okay. What one that goes that look, kind of looks like maybe like this? Yeah. Well, those are basically like a like a ninety eight Mauser bayonet, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. It might be a little different. There's probably different variations depending on the Mauser. This yeah. one here is like a. This is actually a German one, but but 
a lot of them use the same bayonet. So, yeah. how much uh, do they run? Uh, I would probably say on the sixty dollar range. Okay, cool. For a real that's one, too, yeah. That's that's just an average average real bayonet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I want a real one. That's yeah. not too bad. Screaming Skull Saloon said that's a nice skull. I carry my revolver in single action. Says Rachel Mitchell is finding holes in Blasey Ford's story about Brett K. Uh, yeah, you know, I was watching something. Yeah. Something. Uh, my brother actually sent me a video from Stephen Molyneux. Yeah, where he was talking about that. That. Um, so that that woman who was questioning <laughs> both of them, that the Republicans, she's like a Republican prosecutor. Yeah. She said that that. Um, from what she sees, she would not, as a prosecutor, press charges because there's Duh. so many inconsistencies <laughs> no in the story. She say, she say, and even that. It ain't even, when when your when your best friends and all these other people say that didn't happen, and they sign, they you know they, they swear to it. That's pretty. That's pretty solid stuff. You know? Yeah. Also, when you jump around on the timeline, you know, oh, like yeah, uh, she can't this, remember shit. She can't remember when was it the was it the mid. Or late eighties? Was it the early eighties? <laughs> you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on there. So, um, but hey, you know, the FBI is out there investigating it. We'll see what comes out of that because the FBI never uh, messes anything up. <laughs> 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 they don't ever get crazy. <laughs> uh, what are you? Well, yeah, you know, that, that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You we'll be, see. We'll see. We can't prejudge the FBI. Yeah, not I mean, it's, FBI it's, it's, it's not everybody yeah. there. Um, Fortunately, yeah. I don't think it's everybody, but yeah. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's like saying all cops are, are bad, too, and they're not all bad. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll, that all gets settled out. Now, by the way, um, Democrats say that a week is not long uh, enough. <laughs> all, this, all this is a big stall technique. All yeah, well, because Comey, Comey came out and said a week is not enough. There shouldn't be any oh, limits. <laughs> oh, and he's one to talk. <laughs> I know, I know. He's what, He we, perjured himself in, in front of, you know, when he was in Washington a year or so ago. Yeah. You know who's all paying for this now? <laughs> Soros. Soros and uh, yeah. the Bloomberg no. types and all that. Well, no, we, still, we are. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, true. All that's that monkey, true, all that monkey business of investigating. Somebody has already been investigated like six times. And of course, if you saw the video, wait, don't let me find. Let me, Rod. I don't know if did you see the video of that congresswoman slipping um, oh, yeah. this chick's oh, lawyer yeah. a check? I didn't see it, but I heard about it though. Oh yeah, yeah you guys. See if it, I could pull that up. It's such a sad, um, you know, when you're gonna pay, yeah, you, know, you just don't do it like that. Yeah, do it behind closed doors. Yeah. The person who I know that had it was my friend Real Cujo. Let me see oh, if I could find it on his. The day after, you couldn't go someplace where you didn't see that. Everybody. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know if he removed it, but he just he posts a lot of stuff up. So yeah, I might have to scroll down. Yeah, he's a he's a ways. A, he posts like. A oh, here we go. Here we go. So look at this. I'm gonna lock my I'm gonna lock my phone on it. You can clearly see her. See how she's looking around, looking around. Don't want to, don't, don't notice this. Don't notice. I'm about to slip you. I'm slipping you something right now. Put it in your pocket real quick. Do you see that? Okay, we're gonna loop it again. <laughs> at, least go. at least she could have. Uh, Surreptitiously passes the lawyer. <laughs> the payoff. Yeah. She didn't give it to her. She's right there. She said it was a letter of support for her. Oh, she didn't yeah. give it to her. She gave right. it to the lawyer. Yeah, that's a letter of support, all right. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Uh, child support. <laughs> yeah, I got your support right here. No, that woman, the the professor one, I was I was reading someplace, or I came across about who her parents and and father and all these people work for. A lot of CIA ties. A lot yeah. of a she lot of. She works for the CIA. She works. A, for a lot of shady stuff, you know, and. Yeah. Um, so are we supposed to believe her? Hell no. Fuck that. Come yeah, on. Scamp 900 <laughs> says Ford has a million dollars in her GoFundMe already. Yeah, how about that shit? And then she mentions it, why she's why she's doing her thing there. Oh, poor. She couldn't afford a lawyer. Poor woman. Has she, two, has, she has two houses in California, one in Palo Alto, which is super expensive, and another one in another super expensive neighborhood. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's and scared to fly, but she flies all over the world to go on vacation. Yeah, she's scared to fly. All right. Yeah, there's lots of crazy going yeah, on yeah. there. Who say says she lost me at my beach friends, which tripped yeah. me out. Beach, beach friends. friends. Yeah. <laughs> or they like, hey, dude, come on, you know, smoke a joint, you know, come on, my beach friends. Yeah. You know? yeah. 
So crazy. So crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah. that's where we're at. So, Yeah. So, um, okay, let me see. I don't know what other um, – do you guys have some new things you want to go over? By the way, oh, shout out to the Fort Scott Munitions guys. If you guys haven't seen the video, they had a NASCAR guy do um, – he blew up 75 pounds of Tannerite. Challenge you. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, so – that Shout out cool. to the Fort Scott guys. You know, Wait. you have to step up to the challenge. So what? No, I thought I saw you blow up. A, no, a I, I did fifty. Right? I did fifty. No, it was an RV. It wasn't an RV. It was a pickup truck. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that was cool, Hank. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but this guy blew up. He he blew up um some kind of a car. I can't believe so, Hank, something like that. What? What's up? Hank, Hank, can I can I, can I be honest with you on something? <laughs> Well, oh boy! <laughs> I was up there. I had a bet going on. I'm like, yeah, watch. Hank won't even hit it the first. Time. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, oh man! Wow. Uh, you know where your friends are, man. <laughs> why? What? So why? Why do you believe? Like, I don't know why you doubt me so much, man. <laughs> and, and then I said, well, why she blames the uh, the, the uh, if it wasn't cited in right? <laughs> why? I don't. I don't understand why you did. You watch and that Rod, whole and, and Rod, Yeah, you, I watched it. Hell. Rod, do you really think they'd give him a gun that they already hadn't shot that that distance anyways to make sure he didn't miss? No, this is Hank Strange, man. Uh, I yeah. know that. They already <laughs> well, wait a second. What makes you what, – so you don't believe that I could shoot? Hey, I've never known you to be the most accurate guy shooting. Really? Oh, you, I, yeah. That's interesting. Now, okay. now, you're welcome to have a shoot-off with me of accuracy if you um, like. I shoot. Look, I do, I'm not an expert long distance shooter, <laughs> but um, you can ask Walter shoots with me all the time. I, let's, I think let's, let's go I to think the uh, one, one day within the next what, six months or something. Let's meet out at the uh, at the uh, uh, Hacienda and uh, we can have a shoot off. Yeah. When I'm shooting pistols and stuff like that, I don't worry a lot about accuracy. I don't even aim. No, no, no. no. We're that's, let's, that's let's, not what I would do. That's not what I would do in real life. I would I would go, just instinctively go. shoot at something. No, let's, but, let's, let's, let's shoot AR-15s or something with a, you know, a scope on it or red okay. dot. All right. OK. I, I, you know, I'm not sure why you uh, doubt me so much, but OK. Uh -huh. well, let's sure. do it for the, the pay-per-view value. Of yeah. It. OK. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, right. the, we can call it the the first annual Hank Strain Hacienda shootout. Well, know? if you looked at that video before I shot the Tannerite, yeah, there were some steel targets that were downrange. They wanted me to shoot. Remember, there was a nah. big gong. There, if look look at it again. Okay, there was, there was a big gong which I okay. hit the, the center of that gong, and then oh, okay. there was a there was a um, coyote cutout in steel mm. with a heart flapper which I hit. I hit the heart flapper. Oh, okay. On, on that thing. Look so at you. You might want to like go back and look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You know. Is that a little cockiness on you? Yeah, just saying. I, yeah. <laughs> I have been, uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm a new jack to this, but I have been doing this for like five years. So. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Right. Keep in mind, I've been doing it for over twenty. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. <laughs> you know. Wow. I understand, but you know, I do. I do have friends that shoot long distance and stuff like that. So I've had coaching. Oh, okay. I've had coaching over the years. So. Hey, well, you know, Walter is your coach, so you might be. No, I, I Walter's not my coach. I ain't claiming. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> don't Notice. put that on me, Ricky Bobby. And don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> what you trying to say, Trigger? <laughs> And Walter's yeah. like, you're not gonna blame me for his inaccuracies. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of the conversation. You put me in there. Don't... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm I was reading kidding. an article on the Farmers Blog about them uh, down in Brazil. They, the Brazilian popo uh, got themselves uh, that that Browning that Browning 50 cal machine gun um, um, that they captured. It was in. We just talked about it the other day, but yeah, there's a little more information about it. They actually had they caught the guys in a shootout, killed the bad guys, and took the gun. So. Oh, okay. The okay. Guns. Yeah, 50 caliber machine gun mounted in a car. Oh, <laughs> wait. What are they going to do with it? I guess they, they're going to. They, they, they hit armored cars with them. Oh. And yeah. they kill, kill the guards or whatever, and then they blow the blow this thing up with dynamite and get yeah, the, the stuff. The uh, Brazilian police is pretty, they're badasses. They yeah, have they to be, I guess. They don't mess around down there, no. Yeah. You ever seen, <laughs> you ever, you ever seen the shootouts they have in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the I, I guess they call the hood? 
those, those neighborhoods where it's run by the drug people. Oh, yeah, the flavelas. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Brazilian police, man, they carry machine guns. They don't mess around, man. Yeah. Like, hey, so Walter, did you see that movie that has um uh what's the guy that played in 300? Um Leon um um God. 300? Yeah. Three uh the the main guy. Um, uh yeah, it was a British guy. Yeah, him. He, him and uh um uh 50 cent and a couple other guys i can't remember their names but they were they sh they killed um all these police officers they they it was basically a heist where they yeah. they needed to steal the um uh the armored car right. and it just so happened that is that some, is that like 911 or 999 or something like that no it 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 came out this year. Maybe somebody yeah. in the chat may knows may know yeah. about it. Uh, but I I know uh, what you're talking about? You guys really need to see that movie, man, because it they had a saw in there. Uh, of course, you know they had some AR uh, M16 <laughs> AR15s. Uh, but it's amazing that you know when you look at movies like that now, you the first thing that you're looking at. Okay, what kind of gun do they have? Okay, wow. Okay, all right. I see this, mm -hmm. and now you can ask Den of Thieves. Yeah, Den of Thieves. Thanks oh yeah, that, I did see that. that. Yeah. So yeah. now. I don't know if Walter saw it, but but um, hey, do you think that that was realistic when they got like that thing and opened up the um, the uh, glass of the uh, armor car at the beginning? Uh, I can't. I I know I have seen it. I can't remember the opening scene exactly. Oh, what okay. did they shoot it out with? Um, they shot it out and then pulled out the the glass or something. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did something like that was. Like I mean, the, depending on the rating of the bulletproof glass, I don't think it could take more than a certain amount of shots. So typically, bulletproof glass, depending on how thick and the rating and all that, it can only take so many shots and then it's pretty much done. Yeah. So oh, it, okay. Yeah. So it's theoretical. Like even on the limos and stuff like that, it's theoretical. You can actually shoot that to a point where it's no good, and you can literally just pull it out of there. That you know. take a lot. Of, that take a lot of shooting because you got to yeah. cut through the. You got to yeah. cut through all the laminated um, plastic inside there to, to make yeah. it all uh, fall apart. Yeah, but so isn't I would have to see that scene again to, mm -hmm. like, you know, because you isn't might be a, right. Isn't an armored car supposed to be like? Uh, I mean, an armored truck rather supposed to be bulletproof up to. Uh, yeah, a I, I, I guess I think I saw one time they did a thing on MythBusters where they hit the. They took an armored car and and they took a big log. Kind of like a scene out of Star Wars where the log comes down and hits the That's it. Hits, yeah. hits, hits the walker. Mm -hmm. And they took that big weight and come down and hit the side of an armored car and it went, knocked it right through. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it just. Well, isn't that what happened in the Heat movie? If you look at Heat movie in the beginning, that's how they knocked over that armored car. They, they ran it. into it. Yeah. Uh, what was it? A garbage truck? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Or some kind of tractor trailer. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, they ran into it and then knocked mm -hmm. it over. You know, yeah. and and then I think they still use C four or something or whatever. So yeah. So hey, how how cool was it uh, for you to go to the uh, the I double I S S? Uh, is that it? Oh, uh, Independent or? Studio Services. In yeah. LA. How cool was that, man? It was freaking awesome. I have to. Um, I have not edited. That's the last video from the trip that I haven't edited and put out yet. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. it's gonna be amazing. Wow, you guys see it. Basically, wow. Yeah, it's so what, what, be what was, huge. So let's get into that a little bit. What 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 was the most uh amazing or the gun that impressed you the most? Or the one that you're um, most starstruck over? Um, I you know what that would be tough to say because they uh first of all, they have the most rubber dummy guns I've ever seen. <laughs> so and a lot of times in movies, you most know most of them are yeah, when you see a movie scene, mm -hmm. all those extras they don't have guns. They don't actually have guns. They have so it would look like this, mm -hmm. but it would not be real. It would literally be rubber. Well, so air soft or something yeah, like that. Yeah. It, yeah, it wouldn't be real because you know the, the movie sets have to have um FFLs and all that kind of stuff on it. And mm -hmm. then they just don't give all those things to extras. And then there's some of the actors that technically cannot have firearms. Yeah. You know, imagine, imagine that. Yeah. So um so so they have a collection of these guns because ISS rents all those out. 
Well, let me tell you, if you see these guns, do you remember the scene in the Matrix where they went into the white room and then just all the things of guns were coming out? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it felt like. <laughs> wow. Just the just the rubber guns. And then they have a ton of real guns. Um, so they have a thing of movie guns, some of which I've been putting up on Instagram. If you look at my Instagram, you'll see I'm throwing up like I threw up a gun sword thing that was on um, that was in Transformers and a whole bunch of different the actual guns that they used in movies and things like that. Um, then they had stuff like Gatling guns and they just have a ridiculous amount of guns. Um, mm. There was one safe room that we went into that had all the SBR full auto, you know, had all that kind of crazy um, like tech nines and stuff like that in there. And I was just amazed mm. in that in that one place in LA, man, I've never seen that many guns anywhere. Wow. So it was awesome. All right. Now I got to ask you about one gun. Okay. That one you just had in your hand there, that BNT. Yeah, BNT. Who that? Oh, this. <laughs> this Who's that? Oh, this belongs to Jesse. This belongs oh, okay. to Jesse James. Yeah, he yeah. Uh, he's getting out of town. This is his GHM nine. I like. So, the, um, what's up? I just like to fondle it for a little while. Yeah, sometime. absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> he left it with me. He's going out of town, so we. Water's drooling. Yeah, if you're, no, if you're I have a reason. I'd like to make a stock for that thing. Oh, know? okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. He has. It's got this stock here on it. I know. Well, that's a, actually but, probably a pretty good stock. I'd like to see yeah. how it all works. Yeah, that's all right. right. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You can do that. He, um, I've got it until he gets back. Okay. Is he so, going out of country to work? That kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's going off to do some some stuff. You talking about Jesse James, the, the biker? No, 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 no. We have a no. friend that his name is Jesse James. His real name is Jesse oh, James. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if the other one's name is Jesse James either, but I don't know if that's just his... Um, you know what? That's a good I question. Know. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know if he is, but I know that Jesse, Jesse's name is Jesse James. <laughs> um, and I think our Jesse James is crazier. <laughs> <laughs> My personal opinion. <laughs> and he has the most coolest... For example, I didn't even know this thing was called the China Doll. But Jesse has this gun that did you guys know that Magpul actually made an AR for a limited time? No. Yeah. I do I do because of you. Yeah, they made an AR. I think it's called the China Doll. It actually the the um so the lower is stamped Magpul. Yes. And it was made, assembled and everything by Magpul, but they never sold it. And then I think like the lawyers stepped in and all that stuff and they were like, Okay, we're not getting into the FFL game. So very few people, you had to be like in the gun industry and people that they knew to, to actually get these guns, right? Mm -hmm. these rifles. And Jesse has one of those. So he just has, he just has, uh, he's got the coolest collection of guns like I've seen from, you know, I mean, obviously there's people out there that have cooler guns, but from like one single dude walking around with guns. And that is include, I know Walter has badass full uh, auto stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Jesse's got some full auto things as well. Like Jesse yeah. has... Um, what is that? What was it, Walter? Was it a Mac Ten from um, um, from Chuck Norris? I don't know. I never. Yeah, seen I it. think he he has a. I think he has a Mac Ten or something like that that Chuck Norris used in a movie. Oh, okay, cool. So he's he's got cool guns and stuff. So anyway, yeah, this is his. We're testing it. We're testing out stuff with it. So yeah, I like to. Um, maybe we could do because yeah. a lot of people see this the street this three bug the stride bug or whatever the yeah. grand power. Okay. And they go, that's just a copy of a, of a B and T. Well, yeah. So we've been testing. Um, so, you know, the Franklin Armory guys who oh, actually yeah. like sponsor what we're, what we're doing with the podcast, we've been testing their trigger for this, but it doesn't work perfectly. I have to tell you guys that. So there's definitely some issues with it that we've been talking to. And I think that Mac put out a video where he had the same exact problems. And, um, and from what I hear, they're saying that it's not the trigger. It's a it's a spring that that needs to go in here, so they they're coming up with some solutions for that. So that's why I haven't done anything on it yet, you know, because we want to like fully figure out what's going on with that before oh, we make a video. Yeah, you go, know, okay, I, I need to I need to I need to see that for a couple of reasons now that I mm -hmm. think about it. Yeah. So um, so we're 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 still in the process of testing that, and then we're going to come out with something. At this point, though, I could tell you guys whatever. Just like I always say about Mac, honestly, what he did in his video is pretty much what's going on with that yeah. at this point. So, um, and I am talking to those guys to figure out, like, you know, when they're gonna, there's gonna be a solution or whatever for it to make it run. It runs, but it does not run. I think you can you can outrun it. 
you know, and that's the issue with these with these triggers, right? Well, it's got to be badass, or it's not worth them. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. That's all I'm saying about that. <laughs> oh, and and speaking of badass, mm -hmm. today we finished the um the Stribog um Picatinny rail adapters. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow they'll be going off to anodizing. So anybody that has a Stribog, oh cool. SP nine A one and wants to have a Picatinny rail adapter for the back of their stock. Um, we will be having some shortly. All right, cool. What other guns do you guys have there? What do you have there? What, what do, you, do you have some kind of gun over there, Rod, that you can show us that um, Gillum is going to be taking from your cold dead hands? <laughs> uh, you know. Good old Rod. Yeah. They're going to come for everything, people. Hey, once what they, is this? Once, a Glock? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of Glock? That's a Glock carbine. Uh, Glock. I'm gonna say what? Glock 19. 17. No. Uh, 22, uh, 24, 25, 26. What? What's that? I don't know. Uh, let's see. 42, 43, 44. What? <laughs> 45, 46, 47. Yeah, you check it. You let us know what it is. <laughs> oh, hold on. Can you see? What does uh, it say? Uh, nine by I nineteen see, Austria. I see nine by nineteen. Oh. 43, 43. 43. Ah, yeah, that's a 43. Yeah, that's, that's a little trivia. Yeah. You want to throw up some Glocks? I got your Glock. Yeah. Boom! Oh, right you. here, baby. I got this for you right there. What's that look like? Hey, whose Glock is that in your right hand? <laughs> uh, this is mine, and this the is the right mine. hand. Your other right. This hand. is mine, and this is mine. <laughs> this wow. Is let mine. me see. Well, you can put the, the one on the left hand down. Let me see the this one. This is on the mine. Right hand. This is mine. Well, move your face. You okay. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Lord. Thank you. This well, you know, man. hey, if you could kind of hold it at the the base of the stock for me, the pill. Oh. There, there you go. One second. All right. Now. Yeah. Wait a second. Don't they all look the same when you put it up like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they pretty much. It's a Glock. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. no, nah, 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 nah. looks the same. I, I never saw you with that one. Oh. I've got, I have probably, I have more Glocks, nine millimeter Glocks than any other single gun. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I've got several 1917s, uh, I've got 34, all that. I got, I got a bunch. Out of all of them, which one do you like the best? Uh, the one I carry on me every day, Glock 43. Yeah, oh, you, I got to oh, say. Oh, you carry a 43 with you? Yep, every day. You got it on you? Yep. You have it tricked out? No, 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 I don't. Mm -mm. Well, that's his training gun. You can't have it tricked out. No, I mean it's my. It's what I actually carry, so I don't really oh, put okay. anything on it. Yeah. You uh, you got the uh, extended base, the uh, uh, yeah. Terra Tactical. Uh, no, I don't have the Terran Tactical one. Um, what's which is? I think I have the Z. Is it Zev? Zev. Oh, okay, okay. Same I think thing. It's Zev. If you look at the, if I don't know anyone could see the mm -hmm. markings on it, but um, yeah, that's the. That's the extended one that I carry the magazine. Okay. And now, Hank, I actually tried this uh, rubber. Uh, uh, is that Hogue? Yeah, the Hogue. Uh, man, I, I really love that on the 43. Oh, have okay. You, have you ever tried it? Uh, no. Man, mm -hmm. you should. I mean, it, it, it really. Walter, check that out. What is that, Walter 380? That's a Glock 42. 42. Mm. Did you see that? No, no. Let me see it again, Walter. About Forty-two. Make a make a noise, Walter. Forty-two. Yeah. I got it locked on Walter. You guys should be seeing uh -huh. him. I got it locked on him. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Just what kind of a uh, what kind of a uh, magazine? Magazine is that? One of those twelve round. Um, yeah, eat clear. Yeah, clear. clear. Yeah, one of those ones. Whatever was it? Uh, eat. ETS. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. It, it works. I haven't extensively tested it, but. Um, some preliminary tests. It seems to function okay. So now, Walter, as a gun maker and a a, a Glock user, uh, how do you feel about using the Ghost uh, connector on your Glocks? Oh man! All right, I'm a Ghost connector. Yeah. Right. Is that to lower the? Uh, I'm not familiar with the Ghost connector. Is that to lower the trigger pull, or is that? Yeah. The, well, yeah. Well, it does that a little bit. You know. What's it, the main? What's the main purpose of it? I mean, it takes out a little bit of the creep, oh, and, okay. you know, and the grittiness. It's, you know, it's no more than if you took a regular connector and you polished it up, you know, that's all they basically done. Oh, okay. You know. Um, 
I don't know. I'm kind of a stock pistol kind of guy, you know. I'm, mm -hmm. You know. I'm, now, Walter, what's your everyday Glock? I don't do everyday Glock. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. you should ask him what's his everyday. Uh, I used to carry like, this around, but it's yeah. a little big for the pocket. I like to drop it in my pocket, you know, because yeah. Oh. I thought like, you had an everyday Takarev or something. No, I have an everyday Taurus, actually. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Oh, really? okay. <laughs> which one? Um, which one? It's a little 380. Um, but I used to carry, what I used to carry was a Keltec, the Keltec 380. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and I used to actually carry the Keltec 32 because it's so small. Yeah. You know, in your pocket and everything. But um. Oh. Okay, you had the P380. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But um, I've, the tour so far has worked fine. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I've taken it where I've had it in my pocket for weeks and then just pull it out and, like, just to try it out, see if everything's working right, and pop, pop, pow, and it works, and more pop, pop, pow. And so um, I haven't any problems with it. So, mm -hmm. um, But, yeah, the, nothing wrong with a Glock. It's just it was a little large for the pocket. Um, oh, okay, okay. You know, especially when it's so hot. You know, I'm out in the shop working and stuff. I'm not sitting in the air conditioning and stuff. So it's like, you know, it's just – I just don't like to have tons of things weighing me down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, um, a lot of times when I'm working in the shop, I pull the pistol out, and just sit on the bench where I'm working. So, so now, Walter, do you like carry everywhere you go, uh, pretty much? Or well, uh, you know, that's that's just supposed to be a surprise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I mean, but are you a fan of it? Should oh I? yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, with all this goofy stuff going on, you yeah. hear in the news and stuff going on with people that are just minding their own business, and people start messing with them. Right, you right. Know, yeah. Richard Hughes says you built the 50 for EDC. Yeah, I got my everyday. <laughs> a little pocket 50. Yeah, it, 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 that's not a camelback. That's a 50 cal in that, in that thing, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Damn. Be like, yeah, yeah. Walter, I mean, I think, just happy? I think that, yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> I, I, think, uh, I think it's a good idea to carry something, you know, um, and I, you know, I, I, I well, I'm not going to give away everything. So, uh, yeah. there are times I go out and I don't have anything, and there are times that I'm that I have, you know, multiple things. So, yeah. So, folks are asking Walter. Um, I think it's I carry my revolver in single action, but I saw someone else asking, um, Walter, you uh, you like the LCP two better than the Taurus? Did you I, did you have the LCP two or just a regular LCP, or did you have either one? I didn't have LCP. I had all I had was the um, the Kel. The, is it you're talking about the Celtic? LPC is yeah. a Ruger though, isn't it? That's a yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, you, you didn't have the Ruger. No, you, I didn't have the Ruger. No, I had the yeah. Celtic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, there's nothing wrong with the Ruger. Um, um, not nothing at all. It's basically just a knockoff of the Celtic, and now they've just modified it and made it, you know, made their own version of it. You know? mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and then someone's hating on us. Master What's Sergeant that? Poppy USAF says. Three guys sitting around fondling their Glocks, thinking there's a real difference. <laughs> Master Sergeant, how's it going? Yeah. Let's see here. We got a Glock. We got a Makarov, which, by the way, is an excellent pistol. You know, they work, but it's just it's it's kind of a pig to carry around unless you're gonna wear it in a holster. Listen, no matter what you do, people, if you if like when Glock came out with this new Glock 45, and we were like, whatever. Yeah, there's hate. Someone yeah. gets mad about it. If I show that we like we carry Glocks, someone gets mad about that. You can't win. No, you yeah. know everybody's got their own thing. You know, it's like yeah, Chevy, Ford, Toyota, whatever. You know, I like something. them all. I like all positions. I like it. I like ones that run. Yeah, it's yeah. like saying you're a car guy, but you hate. You know, oh, I hate Ford. Then you're not a car guy. If you only like Chevy, then you're a Chevy guy. I'm you're not, not going to have guy. anything to do with a Corvette. Yeah. Well. It's like saying that you're into women, but you <laughs> only like this kind of women. I like all women's. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't discriminate on things no. that I like. No, I, they're all beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, all the, all the women's. The, um, the crazy ones we think twice maybe Wait, think oh, 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 crazy oh, oh, ones will pass on the rod you know? <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> if the oh, butt, if the butt is beautiful. big enough if the butt is big enough rod overrides all crazy <laughs> <laughs> that might be true <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, who so. amongst us has not had a crazy woman oh lord 
Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Back in high school. Back in high school. Oh, uh, yeah. After that, I try to stay away. Wait, <laughs> no. Hold on. Hey, the girl that you met before Lolo, you said was crazy. All women before Lolo were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> good, good answer, Hank. Good answer. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Yeah. Speaking of which, like I promised you guys I was going to show you pictures. Okay. This picture, I was looking at this picture today. Um, I was 18 years old in this picture, or close to 18. And okay. when I looked at it today, I was like, wow, this looks like my son, my younger son. Boom. Check it out right there. Look at that guy. Who is that? Yeah. That's me. Oh, that's me right there. Back in the 80s, I think, I believe this was either 1988 or 19, no, I'm not sorry. No, in 1988, I was 16. This was uh, 1990, I think, mm. right here when I was 18. So, boom. So, yeah, why do you that, have to be that skinny, okay. sexy? Because I was sexy, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're sexy, you freaking, if you're sexy, you show your. Uh, you work it. Yeah, oh, now this in this is picture. Your, your hip on that picture. Oh my lord! <laughs> I'll, I'll, no. I'll, I'll break okay. it down. Listen, the, the, oh, my okay. hand's not on my hip; it's in my pocket. Now, do you oh. notice? Do you notice <laughs> the gold jewelry is right there? Oh, you no. To... Yeah, there's like some gold jewelry. Check out the jack. Kids are dressing like this nowadays, actually. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they, yeah, it's coming back. The '80s are coming back. So here, this one, I was 16. Because this was the day that I graduated, actually. So here, I'll show you guys if you can see that. That is me yeah, right there. You really like your see son. The, man, see man. the big hairstyle right there? Straight up. Straight up. And a skinny oh, tie. Yeah. yeah, skinny tie back in the 80s. Yeah. Um, this, I think, I think in this picture here, I was probably uh, 14. Now you look like, that looks like your Boom. son. Yeah, that probably looks like my older son right there. Man. And kind of like a... Like you pleather, like that's pleather. That's a pleather jacket, right is that, there. Is that, is that like a player's cup? Not player's cup. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, kind of like a Michael Jackson look back in the uh, days. Okay. Man, you yeah. were like you, twenty-one on that picture, man. Yeah, and I think this one here, I was probably, I don't know, I'm gonna say I was probably like. Uh, that's a glamour shot. Nineteen or something like that. Yeah. That's a glamour shot. There you go. Yeah. So with a kind of like Gumby kind of hairstyle. <laughs> And still rocking the jewelries right there. That's like a big, uh, you know, Gucci link chain thing that I had. My name with, Gumby. With, dim with diamonds and all that. <laughs> kind of stuff uh, kind of thing. Uh, what's his face that did did Gumby? Gumby, damn it. Um, what? Um, yeah. And the, no one tell. I don't think Lola's here right now, so I can show you guys this. Uh -oh. No one, no one tell Lola that. I, don't tell Lola that I showed you this. Boom. Boom. Oh, who was that? <laughs> who do you, who does that does that look like someone to you that you that you no. know? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> that was Lola. <laughs> that was not Lola. It was absolutely it was. Yeah, right, Hank. <laughs> okay, wait a second. You don't believe me? Why would Lola be dressed like that? <laughs> well, uh, Lola was a pinup model at one time. You just don't know really? about that. Bam! There you go. And that's in a work? book. That's Does actually that work out? that's actually published. So Does she worked out? No, Lola, no. She just has natural muscles. That was God given. Yeah, that's like an African thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So there you go. Sorry about that. What was that? <laughs> yeah. That was my phone. Oh. So that's back in the days. That was a long time ago. That's when I was that was back when I was skinny. <laughs> Oh, oh hey, long time ago. Hey, What's up? Here's a here's a converse. Um my son Will got a phone call from uh, somebody from Andrew Gillum. Uh, I think I think when Spencer was at at the uh Megacon, he, he talked to somebody about voting. And um so they got somehow got Will's number and called him up and he said, "We are you planning to vote for Andrew Gillum this November?" And Will said, "That depends how much free shit he, that Gillum can guarantee." And the person <laughs> the, other, the other person said nothing. Uh, and then Will said, I have some extra assault weapons I can trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they bumped into the wrong. How did oh, they yeah. get, how did, how from Spencer did they get Will? Spencer gave them Will's number. I don't know. I don't That's cold-hearted, man. That's but he's the last person you want to call and start talking <laughs> shit to. So, yeah. Because um, he'll just give you right back. Like these people call, you know, to say you've got to do this, do that, because they're going to send out the police to come get you, the, like the IRS and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he'll talk right back to him, you know. He don't give a shit. So, um, 
Yeah. The other one's trying so, to con you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, what else? Did you guys see this article? Uh, we were talking about magazine fed. I think, let me, let me see. Well, that's what I, I was trying to say before. before I, I believe I posted here. this in here from the H&K here. Let me post this in the All chat right, for one second here. Boom. Throw that up for you guys. So, Rod, you can see that in the chat. It says, uh, this is from the Firearm blog. Post of the day. H&K, Heckler and Coke, as you're supposed to say it properly. Because oh, you're not allowed to say, I can't pronounce that, Koch. You could, cock. Be, it could cock. be cotch. It could be cock. Coke. Isn't that what uh, uh, Kevin Dixon likes? <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. That wasn't me. That was not me. I did not say that. That was this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that, be... that picture of that belt going into the side of the magazine. Yeah, so this is a, this is a MR223A3GZ. <laughs> belt. It's like a freaking long ass name. That's a wet dream, is what it is. Yeah, so what do you think about that? GZ is short for Gartzenfrung or something like that. Gartzenfrung. They're not doing that. That's it's interesting. I mean, uh... Isn't, it doesn't serve a. It's not practical because unless it's uh, fully automatic. Um, it it would be practical if you if you didn't have to have a magazine. I'm of course I would love it to be machine gun. Yeah, that's okay, if you look but, at the picture, it's just one single yeah. bullet. So I'm gonna assume and where where it is right there is not uh full auto mode. If you look at the picture, you can look at the safety. Mm -hmm. oh, the safety is just straight up and down. It's at you know. I mean, but then you would have to you would have to carry like an ammo can with you everywhere, and I mean, so this, wait, man. When you click on the link, it goes to just a regular old HKAR, right? Am I looking at the right thing? What am I looking at? That link should be showing you an HKAR that's belt fed, right? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's right. got like a gold. Um, I mean, I yeah, see that the, the the buffer tube is gold. Yeah, I like that. I see this picture on the on their front page. Well, let's read more. Let me click on that. Oh, what? Oh, you're clicking on a different link. And oh, you're clicking on the link inside of there. And inside of that post. Right, let me look at this A3 G4 GZ. What? It, no, that's just a regular gun there. Um, the one that I ain't looking in the right spot. Well, it looks like uh, it looks like somebody broke off a a belt clip. It, it it clearly has a magazine already in it. Yeah, it's just stuck in the side of a regular gun. That's yeah. Nice. That ain't no real. Uh, yeah, that ain't no real belt fan. It wouldn't feed from that side, anyways. You have right. to be, a, you have to be rushing to feed it from that side. Yeah. If you read the thing, it says, "GZ, <laughs> the construction will bypass all ma magazine uh, restriction as there is no magazine." And right. then it says, "Well, that would be nice if it was true, but it's yeah. not." Yeah. It's just a normal HK MR two two three with a I belt mean, in a nice. very strange position. So there you go. It looks yeah. really nice. Uh, I like the color variations yeah. on it. You may <laughs> yeah. want to put it um, it's not April Fool's, so I don't know why they're even throwing that up there. Hey, um, put, that, put that in the chat so people can look at it. I did. I put a link to oh, it in oh, the chat. Cool. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, Crimson Trace changed their logo. Is they that? Yeah, I guess they're coming out with a bunch of new stuff. Oh, let me go Crimson back. Trace. They've got like, hey, do you want me to throw that one up? Is it on Fire and Blood? Yeah, here, I'll throw it up in here for you. So you throw it up in there. Yeah, Let's someone see. make a belt fed, Walter. You can make a belt fed. You should make a belt fed. Already is a belt fed. The area, the, air, the fight light one. The area. Yeah. Belt fed fifty. God no! Come on, man. Me. <laughs> that would be nice, though, Walter. I thought about that once. <laughs> I want a belt fed fifty pistol. <laughs> oh, that's all. <laughs> pistol. Yeah. Wow. So Crimson Trace looks like they're coming out with a bunch of scopes and red dots and okay. all kinds Where, of stuff. Where's that? Oh, you put that in the chat. Yeah, I just put that. I just threw that up. Uh, let me take a look at it here. I'm not uh, seeing it right now. Let me now. see. Uh, Breaking Christmas Trace logo before the what? shot show, too. Walter, I got a question for you while you're looking sure. that up. Which would you rather have for a uh, long distance scope, uh, Leupold or uh, Trijicon? Oh, uh, Leupold. Leupold? Okay, cool. Oh, uh, well, I'm not familiar with Trijicon's long range stuff. They have. Yeah, you know, I don't know if that matters. Yeah. I mean, then again, you can go Night Force too, but yeah, yeah, well, I mean, but yeah, I mean, you know, loopholes, nothing wrong with, and I'm not familiar with Trigicons, like I said, long range stuff. All, all I see Trigicon is like you know, typical battles. Well, well, okay, so let's say Night Force. Uh, Night Force is normally more expensive than uh, loophole, right? It can be, yes, yeah, okay, yeah, 
Definitely but for the money, you can Liverpool is better than that. Yeah, well, Liverpool's nothing wrong with that. No. Yeah, they got yeah. good warranty and stuff too. Yeah. So uh, let me see. So this next picture is a uh, this is right up your alley, Walter. Yes, sir. Uh, Fifty. Did you see this? The Iraqi PMU yes. locally made twelve point yes. seven millimeter sniper rifles. I read that before we got on here. Yeah, that is nice. Well, yeah. <laughs> locally I, made. Looks like that looks like that gun that um. The uh, the guy from um, what was uh, Chris Kyle's movie, the sniper movie. What was that movie? Um, where yeah, Chris, I, uh, yeah the, I understand what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, um, kind of looks like that gun that um, that guy that sniper had for the uh, was it? Well, were they in uh, Afghanistan? No, they were in uh, Iraq, weren't they? Iraq, Iraq. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it looks like that sniper rifle that guy had. Yeah, but. But that's a fifty, though. I mean, yeah, so. these um, a lot of times these these guns they show these um, like fifty cal's and the bigger ones. They are very similar in design, you know, basic tube designs, which are kind of similar to what I make. But yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, they they work. I guess they work for them, you know. So now let's go to a ribbon gun. Ribbon. Let's go to uh, something more ribbon. high tech, possibly coming in the future. Where's that? Um, so this is on the truth about guns and it says, is the ribbon gun, the army's next rifle and, uh, could the army's next service rifle be something with four vertically stacked barrels that was invented in Colorado Springs in a Colorado Springs man's garage. Uh, Martin Greer, self-described inventor who has worked at a local bed and breakfast, built a new ribbon gun. With a hobbyist tools, it looks like a space age toy drawn by a fifth grader, but goofy origins and cartoon looks aside, this could be the gun of the future. Uh, uh, and it says the army is studying Greer's gun and has ordered a military grade prototype. And I think there's a video here that came from last shot show. So what so does basically it shoot? The, it's caseless ammo. Is that what it, it is? Shoots, yeah, it looks like it shoots caseless ammo. Um, that it's. I think what do they call it? Magnetically magnetic electromagnetic motion. actuators that could yeah. theoretically give the weapon a rate of fire of two hundred and fifty rounds per second. Yeah. So the barrel, the barrel is one piece and then four barrels um, you know, drilled out of there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um and then and then you load it, it's kind of like the the uh it's Four rounds go in at a time. Like a cartridge type yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like cartridges and they're stacked and then they feed through. So I guess that this has less heat and it could just keep firing because all the heat is in those cartridges and that gets ejected once it's spent mm -hmm. and then it moves on to the next mm -hmm. one. So, I, you know, I guess you could just have a stack of them and it could just go through and keep uh, popping barrel, those things out. The barrels are going to get hot from friction. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's interesting, you know, but I, I don't see it going anywhere. <laughs> Not at least for the next twenty years. Uh, we've had the same gun for fifty years. Yeah, almost fifty years. Um, I'm fifty-seven. When they adopt the uh, AR-15, like in '64 or something like that, so it's pushing. Yeah, it's fifty-something years. Yeah, so you really think they're going to go to a ribbon gun? I don't. Walter, know. when did they uh, come out with the M60? M60 was that's that predated the M16. About, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's um yeah early sixties late fifties actually yeah. for the yeah that's 60s. what I thought and they still shoot those well the, the navy still has some the army doesn't officially use them so the navy has some but um yeah uh, yeah I I've shot one before it's fun I yeah. had my I had my Rambo moment at uh Knob yeah. Creek one time man I had I did many a push ups man from uh. From my drill sergeant because I couldn't break that sucker down and clean it. <laughs> man, man I, I'm like, man, how they, why does a gun have so many parts? <laughs> uh, yeah. That was before they introduced me to the 1911. So, <laughs> uh, well, I think you know what. Listen, you got to keep pushing the the uh, the. Oh, no, it's it's so nothing wrong with that's nothing yeah. wrong with experimenting and stuff like that. No, I don't know yeah, against yeah. that. It would definitely be some time before we actually see those out there. We went through so many. So many ideas. This caseless ammo thing is—it's like it's—it's—it's it's, it's the um, 
the holy grail of assault rifles. Yeah, or, but what we're seeing there, like Red Bear says, so a low cap mag fed rail gun, <laughs> and they basically combine the mag and the cartridge into one. I think as it sits there, it's probably going to be a little bit heavier because it's like one of those cartridges is four. I mean, you know, yeah, once I it mean, shoots those, it doesn't magically reload. You have to have a whole bunch of those and a stack, right? Yeah. I, you know, like I said, it's they'll, they'll, it's a concept. They'll look at it. And, you know, that ain't going nowhere. Yeah. They but, can. you know, it's good to keep messing around with things like that. No, Maybe yeah, some you, point in the future. Yeah, you got to look at everything like that. I have no I have no problem with that. That's that's cool. But the reason I'm so pessimistic about it is because they can't even change the freaking caliber of the ammo of our guns that we have without saying, oh, it'll take 20 years to do this. It's like, really? Yeah. Well, well I, mean, I mean, and that's okay. So this is for the army, maybe thinking about the future, the technology that the army is using and, and therefore everyone else is using, it's pretty old. I mean, we can replicate it really easy. That's the problem with all the laws and things that people are trying to implement here that they really feel like you can put the, the genie back into the bottle on it and you can't. Well, they, the old Kate regular old ammo works. It's cheap. It works. You know, it's like, okay, well, you're going to make caseless ammo, right? Let me see here. Let's dig something out here. Here's a, here's what we call a trowned. This is a trowned from like the 60s. It was a 50 cal round in this triangle shaped. Interesting. <laughs> okay. This was a real thing that they made. And they tried is it that, out. Is, is that a spent one? Or no, this is, this is a fully, there's a, there's a projo in there and it's never been fired. So, okay. Um, but this is one of those concepts, you know, where it, and it didn't go anywhere um, because the other one works and it's cheap. Um, you, you gotta, and it's gotta be durable. I mean, you know, the salt, you see, you know, belts of ammo around your neck and water and mud and dirt and everything else. And one of the problems with the caseless ammo is keeping it, keeping clean. it clean, keeping it good for the, you know, and then the gun gets, the problem is the gun gets very dirty very fast, from what I understand. Yeah, throw that up again. People think that's crazy. Crown? Here, yeah. I'll lock it on you. Yeah, I don't always. Um, Brian, out, quick. Uh huh. Whenever I'm out and about, like at Knob Creek's a good place. When they, some, there used to be a guy that was set up there all the time that had all kinds of weird ammo and artillery rounds and stuff like that. And I bought this from him. What type of gun would they shoot out of? A 50 cal. Hmm. It's, they, they probably at the time had one built just for this, for this arrangement to so feed it. After the round goes through, what happens to that? Well, that plastic is going to get going to get kicked out just like a, an empty case would. So you're going to have a bunch of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, I don't know where it, I know it didn't go anywhere. I mean, they tested it and played with it and there's I'm different, sure they, there's different versions of the tround they call it. Um, imagine going to a range with a bunch of those on the ground. Well, then you just gather them up and put them in the recycling bin. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I, I they should biodegrade. And we, can make, biodegrade. and we can make straws out of them. <laughs> so, yeah. For, that's, for that's, straws that's, for dolphins. Dolphin <laughs> straws. You put one in the dolphin and then you can suck the juice out. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Brian Quick says nothing is new in firearms, not even the Hudson H9 is new. Which no, is no, that's why I. Yeah, I, that's I, I, I it's, it, yes, it's cool to make cool stuff and it's cool to make all this new stuff. But, you know, some things like like the Browning 50 caliber machine gun, kind of hard to beat. It works. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's other 50, the Chinese have other 50 caliber semi autos. Um, but for most people, most armies, Fall back to the Browning machine gun because it works. Yeah, I know. Look yeah. how many militaries uh, around? How many countries uh, that with militaries around the world actually had the Mauser and the Mauser? Well, yeah, Mauser yeah, yeah, Mauser. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, Mauser bolt action, Mauser action. Which matter of yeah. fact, there happens to be one in this bag. Wow. Um, um just happens to be one. I am um, a Mauser fan. Let's see. Whip yeah. it out, as they uh, say. Walter. What in doubt? Whip it, Whip it out. out. Yeah, there Jay Brennan is. says, Hank, remember I was telling you about that guy's collection? I was able to photograph the prototype stuff. That's the round and the gun I was talking about. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah, the trown yeah. stuff yeah. is very – uh. but once again, that's yeah, like the, that stuff, the ideas and stuff for that, are, it's good to experiment with it and try it. You know, Walter, real quick, uh, let's look at the front uh, site of that Mauser. 
that hood there, how do you take that damn hood off? It snaps on. It snaps on. So it's kind of like spring loaded. Yeah, so yeah, no. But what, you kind of got you kind of got to just pop it off with a pry it off with something because I had to like pry this thing on. So oh, so you have to put like a screwdriver in there and just jack. Yeah, probably just yeah, give it a good tweaking. Yeah, or uh, or uh, give it okay. a good smack in one direction or another to probably pop off. Yeah, so you might want to like lock the gun down on something, right? The, well, use a rubber mallet or something, piece of okay. wood. Yeah, this one uh, this one didn't have it when I bought it, so I bought up a reproduction one and put it on. Um, uh, let me so get speak my, of that bayonet that I had earlier, Rod. Yeah. Okay, there's your bayonet there. Uh huh. And there's your your thing, my bobber. A click. Slide that sucker on. Go. This thing's extra greasy right now, so you don't get a lot of click, but. Gotcha. That's the that's the premise. And you've got a sheath for the bayonet. Oh yeah. Do you have a holder for your sheath? I do not have a um Okay, here we go. Here's Rod. Rod's showing yeah, up. There his. Is. Oh, is, it, is that oh that's cool. You go. See now that's what we gotta have a shoot off with. Is oh, get yeah. our get our Mausers out. Yeah. And have an old school open sight shoot off. My daughter got me uh for my birthday last year, uh authentic um Mauser um uh, um strap. Um uh, damn. Man, this thing is this thing is smooth. Um uh, Hank, remember you shot this when I came to, uh, to your place that so. time? Yeah. Yeah. This thing, this is when men were men. <laughs> I mean <laughs> I'm not even getting into it. <laughs> men were men and Nazis were the target. Um let's see here. No. Now uh uh Walter, is your That's bolt right. and your um matching? Uh yeah, you got a matching bolt on it. Um this, this is actually this is actually a Yugo. Um, oh, that's a Yugo too. Yeah, this is a Yugo. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Yugo. Yeah, I think it is. It might have been forced match, meaning matched later on. You know, from parts. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. But um, um, but yeah, I picked this up at Knob Creek on was on sale one time, and oh. it's still got the like the Cosmoline grease on it, which is really nasty and. Yeah, it is. I gotta clean it off and yeah. Opt out of gun control says, "Hey, keep your Mauser in your trouser." <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Hey, hey Walter, I'll yes, um, I will cash app you some money next time you go up to um uh Nile Creek and they if they have a uh, uh authentic bayonet, I'll oh, cash okay. app you or PayPal you some money. Right. Well, and, uh, I'm going actually in a week and a half. So okay, well let me know. I'll uh, I'll be uh, on the lookout for you one. If I see one, I'll grab one, okay. and we'll we can settle up then. Okay, cool. No, no problem. Yeah. I yeah, and get me a get me a bull pup. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of that, did you see the article? I think it was on the Fires blog hmm. uh, a couple days ago, but about the Chinese bull pup. No, the one that the, 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 that they sell in Canada. Mm -mm. Check it out; it's pretty cool. Was it on the fire? Was it on the firearm blog or yeah, on the firearm blog? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. They they can get some they get some pretty cool stuff that we can't get so in Canada oh yeah for shizzle oh, yeah. for um, shizzle for shizzle yeah. yeah yeah so um this is just like a little bit of trivia here right. so you guys saw that Kanye West is uh, causing trouble again <laughs> you know what's weird I thought Kanye went back to uh, Chicago so that he can get back to his roots and become more socialist slash communist and now he's but supporting Trump. Yeah, he's back to uh, praising Trump. <laughs> I guess he was on uh, he was on Saturday Night well, Live or something. Yeah, and they booed him. Yeah, but then he said something after the show. Yeah, then they booed that him. Chris. Yeah, like Chris Rock uh, put out a video of him talking after. By the way, I I don't like Chris Rock. I've met him in real life, and he's a punk. Is he? Oh, he's a punk. Chris Rock is a punk. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. But um, so Kanye says uh, we don't need the Thirteenth Amendment anymore. And that's about slavery. No, no slavery except in yeah. confinement or something. What was yeah? So the Thirteenth Amendment. Uh, if you pull it up, it says uh, uh, the Thirteenth Amendment to the United States Constitution abolished slavery and involuntary servitude. Right. Okay. Except as punishment for a crime. Okay. So jail. Yeah. <laughs> except basically for jail. So. Um, What's he, yeah, why, I, why would you want to undo the thing that I, I don't I don't really understand that 
because there's still slavery, so I guess we still need to reiterate to people that they shouldn't be slavery. Well, but hurt- um, you know, I'm not necessarily out there for trying to get rid of that or other things. You know, it ain't hurt nothing, is it? No, I don't think it's hurting anything. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think it also is one of those things that if you feel like you know you're, you know, the government can try to enslave people once again, and they're not yes. all going to be they're not all going to be you know brothers. It's called welfare. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, not just that. Obviously, there's that, but there's other things, you know. So involuntary servitude. Now, do we really need any of these things? No. All I need is this thing right here that I'm not laying down. And you could protect all the rights that you have right there. This is called your right machine. Werewolves right or whatever it is. Or whatever, you know? Yeah. This is your right. <laughs> this is your right right here. This you is know. my right at about five or six hundred yards if I need to. Yeah, exactly. Mm. This secures all of those. So I don't know. I, I'm I'm not really sure where Kanye is coming from, you know. Uh, yeah, but then the Chris, uh, what the the uh, um, um, what the actor guy who's a leftist, um, that plays Chris Rock. Uh, no, not Chris Rock. Oh. Um, guy that plays the uh, Captain America. Oh, okay, Chris Evans. Yeah, yeah, he's out all busting his balls about something. I don't, I don't quite understand what oh, that's all. About. I don't know what's up with Chris Evans. Chris Evans is a leftist too, so yeah, he's an anti-gunner. He's Snowflake. Walter. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. You need any? Do you uh, reload? I got some eight millimeter here. You can uh, shells. You can uh, reload. Oh, uh, not myself. Not really, to be honest with you. Oh, because um, you know that uh, that. Ammo that eight millimeter eight millimeter ammo can get expensive. It can, it can, but you know you're gonna have the Cadillac. You can't put the ammo on it. You shouldn't yeah. have the Cadillac. You know that's true. That is true. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's not like belt fed or something. So it's not that bad. Right, right. I mean, and you're you not go gonna out, be shooting a lot of it. You know, well, you go out and shoot 20, 30, 40 rounds. It ain't gonna put you in the poorhouse or nothing. Yeah. Now, if I put that in the MG forty two and we shoot a thousand rounds in an afternoon. Yeah. yeah you know. You'll be reloading? Gonna... Are you going to be reloading then? No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were trying to say there. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, but mm-hmm. um, I, 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 yeah, when you're reloading for the machine gun like that, you got to load with the special, the right kind of primers, and you got to be really careful. You don't want to. Yeah. With a bolt gun, you can get away with a lot more than you can in a machine gun. So yeah. um, you can pick the ammo up pretty. It's not that bad, really. You know. Depending on what you buy, and it, you really when to, like that eight millimeter Mauser, if you can swing it every once in a while, you buy five hundred rounds, and that lasts you for years. So, you know, if, if you can swing it, you know, don't get the surplus the, stuff. Well, um, it's hit and miss. Sometimes yeah. the surplus is all right. Other times it's like click, yep. <laughs> or click boom, which is even scarier when it goes yeah. click boom. Yeah. So. Um, okay. So uh, just in case, if people are joining us now, please hit the thumbs ups and all that kind of stuff. Of course, we are sponsored by Gun Prime. So we do have a uh, deal of the day from Gun Prime that's out there. Walther PPS M2 9mm 3.2 inch barrel, seven round, uh, two magazines for 275 that we were talking about. I'm just throwing it up there for anyone who might be in the market for that or if you know someone that's looking for a deal. That's um, like our deal of the day that's out there today. Just reminding you guys about that. The lifestyle's the locked and loaded deal of the day from Gun Prime. <laughs> yes, there oh, you go, cool. Walter, with the great voice. Hey, I can't, it up. I, can't, I, I can't do the um, Sam Andrews voice, but I can do my shot oh. show voice. <laughs> I can do <laughs> Sam Andrews voice. <laughs> oh, really? Let me yeah, hear it. Dark and handsome. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> Lifestyles of the locked and loaded with <laughs> Hank Strange. <laughs> That's <close>. pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> good old Sam Andrews. He's a he's very talented. I saw uh, uh, your post the other day on Facebook where um, you posted, uh, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, uh, a uh, holster that he made. Man, that thing is mm-hmm. beautiful. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Um, also, right now, I'm working on... Uh, Rod, do you have 1911? Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on a How It's Made from Sam Andrews. He is doing 1911 pistol grips in exotic leather. So I'm working on that right now. If you go to Sam's um, 
Instagram, which is Andrew's Custom Leather. Instagram, just search Andrew's Custom Leather. You'll see some of the examples of them up there. But I'm working on the how it's made of that right now. Been it's you know when I do those how it made videos, they're pretty complicated. So it usually takes a little bit of time to get it done. Walter, I think you've seen some of them. Oh my. around. I don't yes, have any I, of them yes, right I, I have seen some of them, but I just got I, well, I got I got distracted on Instagram yeah, here. Yeah, you went to Instagram, and let me guess. Yeah, hold on. American yeah. Gun Chick was on there. No, no, this is this is a. Uh... Oh wow! <laughs> okay. One of our local uh, girls that works at Hooters. Uh huh. She is. In she's your feed. She's actually, you know, I, it, it, some I know how yeah some girls can, they look good sometimes, and then when they don't have any makeup on, they're like, eh. She's like one of these girls, you know, whether she's looking all dressed up or she's just working at Hooters, she's like, she looks good. You know, it's just one. You can't make her not look good. That's one of those girls like that. It's a lot like me. It's like natural well, beauty. Natural yeah, beauty. Yeah, of course. I know. It's a curse. It's a curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse all at the same time. Yeah, yeah that's such a tough yeah. life. You, you know, I mean, hey, we all can't you rock know, like that. Why we could go to Israel and find us a couple of. Is that Israel? Yeah, that's, that's one of the girls I follow. Uh, on Instagram, who's uh, Israeli? Yeah, wow. Yeah. And her friend it almost makes you want to put up with uh, terrorist attacks every day. No. And she does shooting too. She puts no, on the. Out I guess she used to be in the IDF. Yeah. See, this is a trap. I believe that this is a trap that that Israel's putting out there. Like you think, <laughs> just come to Israel. It's just gonna be nothing but beautiful babes. Then you show up, and uh, you know they're like, okay. <laughs> They start put building. you. They put you in the in the with the babushka. Yeah, start building the wall, dude. <laughs> they put you with the old Russian immigrant. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Here's your Tavor. <laughs> Go on the front lines, mofo. <laughs> yeah. Tavor, hell, you get an old Mauser ninety eight. Yeah. I'm like, wait a second. Where are the babes? <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, <laughs> hey, let's well, go to IWI. Well, speaking of speaking of um shooting, she's a shooter too. She was sh shooting the um. Oh damn. The conversion cool. thing with the uh, with the, the Glock chassis deal. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. damn, Walter. What? You can't see the whole thing, Rod. Come on, man. Damn, I was just getting it. I'm just getting ready to. Oh, look at okay. that. You guys are totally distracted right now. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm not hating. I'm not hating. It's all about the guns, man. Um, this is. I don't know how true this is, but I'm looking. Let me see. Let me see. Someone's fact checking this before. Let me uh -oh. fact check this before I put it out there. Okay, wait. It's not pulling up. Hold Send on. Send it now. I gotta pull it. No, I saw this article here that says like it's up for fact check though. It says Steven Seagal wants to become a governor in Russia's far east. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I gotta see. I'm I'm not saying that's true. Not saying that's true, whatsoever. Let's see if I could. Uh, yeah. Run that down. Well, Steven Seagal. I know he's a Russian citizen. Oh, really? He got his a uh, uh, yeah. Putin likes him. You know, that's that's they're they're buddies. So, well, you know. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's fake news or not, but I know it's showing pictures of uh, Steven Seagal here with Putin, and I think he's saying basically, if Putin wants it, he's down. He'll take the job. Yeah, huh? I did. I I met Steven Seagal once at a barbecue. That's a yeah. that dude is huge. I see him walk by at the shot show with his entourage. Yeah, and he's got security, I guess, or his. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He needs security. I don't no, know. he had like he had an entourage. What? Yeah, yeah, he's got a, he's got a group like of women. With. No men. Oh. No, dude, oh. Yeah, people, oh, people not, to bring him like, food. People to bring food. He's not like tearing in with all the women around him. Someone's got to carry the food around. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to get him a coat. Yeah, I'll let I'll put this up so you guys could look at it if you want to. Yeah, here I don't know how like interested in Steven Seagal you guys are, but oh, did you see on the Farns blog? Uh, they had a a little story about Iraqi AK forty seven bullpup conversion. Um, um, was that last week? Yeah, the pictures are kind of kind of nasty, but. Got pictures of people in it, and I guess they made these modifications to AKs. Kind of a 
Oh, primitive, we'll say. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is primitive. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that is primitive. So this is an interesting article here. Let me share this with you guys. Let's see. This will be something that we should talk about okay. here real quick. Boom. I'll put it there, and I'll share it with the folks so oh, everyone yeah. can read along and fact check with me. Okay, so um, so ATF, hundreds of guns stolen from UPS facility in Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, about 400 guns have been stolen from United Parcel Service facility in Memphis. And authorities are concerned about the theft's potential effect on public safety in the city and elsewhere. Two people driving a U-Haul truck stole the weapons from a UPS facility Sunday. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives said Monday. The agency okay. is asking for the public's help in the case. It offered a whopping $5,000 reward. Oh, boy. Come on, what, now. What, they got more than five thousand dollars. What manufacturers' guns were they? Because they, they were probably like a, uh, a, a, a shipment. I'm trying to look through this and see. It doesn't I don't say. Think I, I, don't, I didn't see anything where it said. To. So let me ask you this: So this truck full of guns was just sitting out in the parking lot? I don't well, know. They said, they said they used a U. A, um, says they used a U-Haul truck. And they somehow got into this UPS facility. Uh -oh. I don't know how that. Maybe um, you know. I guess sometimes it's possible. I think I have seen UPS and FedEx using U-Haul things in in Christmas time and stuff like that. When there's a lot of stuff going on, they might rent a truck and have drivers driving them. Yeah. But yeah. so yeah, I don't know why they would let this truck come in unless there was something like that going on. That's and then screams out an inside job to me. Yeah, I see. Atomic Bull says that. Brian Quick says that. Scamp nine hundred. Everyone says. Uh, well, somebody had to know. Job. Somebody had to know where the stuff was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, once, and yeah, again, definitely. UPS once is accountable. Once has again, no video cameras, no alarms. What What's going no, on? No, there here? has to be. There has to be. Yeah. Um, Memphis is definitely a UPS hub. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's so a FedEx, it's a yeah. FedEx hub too, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Richard Hughes says he'll offer fifteen. <laughs> He'll have the 15 grand and he will also spend the rest of his life in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even, don't even suggest that. in public. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's interesting. That happens. That happens all the time. You know, you always see something disappearing off of a train, off of a truck. They just, they just busted it. I thought you were going to tell me a different story. They just busted a dude for stealing guns that worked in one of those places. Mm -hmm. um, actually a person that was stealing guns. Oh, that was uh, somebody stealing off the airport. That's right. Mm. Somebody that's stealing in the baggage type stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they caught him. Yeah. Walter, how's that, uh, the keg uh, 410 doing? Well, the keg 410 is fine. We got them on sale now, man, because we're Ooh. not we're not going to make them anymore. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. Wow. Yeah. I mean, not anytime in the near future. It's just, it's just slow. We've had plenty in stock for a long time, and they just move real slow. So we decided to mark them down and move them out. Yep. If you want one, you got to get it time, man. It's How many time. do you have left, Walter? We got plenty. You got plenty? We got plenty. No, no seven-inch Mossbergs, but we have 10-inch Mossbergs. We have uh, uh, 20 gauges, 410s in the short sizes. How many uh, 410s do you have left? Because those are pretty badass. Probably a few. Two. I'd have to check with the boss but um, to get okay. the exact number. But, hey, um, guys, get out there and call Safety Harbor Firearms. Get you a 410, man. Bad Those things are nice. They're yeah. No, they're fun. They're fun. So, yeah, we just decided one thing. One thing that's really, I think, affected is the whole shockwave tech fourteen thing, um, because the you know, availability, you know, it gets people into something with no NFA paperwork and no weight, and it's it's similar to what they want. So they they don't they don't go for the real thing. Excuse me. So mm -hmm. so that's a kind of just slowed it down to where we just said that nah, it's not worth the i mean i still have lots of parts to make them and all stuff too so i think i'm going to probably be somebody that wants to well roll your own so to speak i'll probably be going to be selling some grip parts and stuff like that like packaged together oh okay i mean plus you know you've got to uh clear out stuff so you can make room and you can yeah, ramp up production yeah. of the hank the hank production has to start <laughs> sometime oh, soon richard hughes is asking how the prius is doing I don't know, Rich. You're gonna have to. Uh, um, I don't know. I had. I, if I don't have sandals, I can't wear a Prius. So I don't have sandals. So I can't, can't drive a Prius. 
<laughs> Only dudes who come to the range with sandals <laughs> drive the three assistants. There's two people who wear sandals and shooting guns, either the Viet Cong or a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not going to be the hippie, so it's probably the Viet Cong. So, yeah. Uh, anyways. Yeah. No, we love you, Richard. We love you. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, he doesn't have a Prius, so we no, can, forgive, no, we can I, forgive him of a lot of things. I, yeah, I have ridden in a Prius, and it's it's an inch, you know, it's like when you're driving along, there's not a lot of noise. It's kind of different. Mm -hmm. you, know, but um, you know, CB says make a Prius half track, an electric half track, basically. Really? Yeah, electric half track. How would that that could be done? Yeah, it can, well, anything could be done if you want to mess with it long enough. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Um, probably not that hard. You take the, just put the mat tracks on, the bolt onto the wheels. That would be interesting. I have to say that'd be, mm -hmm. that'd be, a, be a eye catcher. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. one thing that is going on. I don't know if you're aware of it. And they've announced the kind of that I mentioned to you before the gambler, the gambler five hundred. Oh, really? They're going to okay. have one. In, it looks like it's going to happen in Florida in what? April. Say what? Say what? Are we doing? Are we doing that? We're going to get a. Because what's the All rules? Right. What's the rules? It's supposed to you get a five hundred dollar car and you drive five hundred miles. Okay. Okay. And and the trails, it's all off road. Mm -hmm. Um. So in my life, let me tell you what always happens in my life when things are scheduled. They either schedule on the weekend of Knob Creek in the October, or they schedule it on the weekend of Knob Creek in the spring. <laughs> so which one is it scheduled? It's in, it's in April, the same uh, weekend as the creek. Man. I'm no, well, I'm very torn. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, because I really want to do the gambler and just have some fun. We need to do this. We need to get down with this, man. We oh, can get the vehicle. I'm, we can fix it up. We can I'm do this. Right, I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there. Um, so, I don't know what's going to happen yet. I have to make an executive decision. Um, my, maybe I'll, depending on how the business is going in April, I'll uh, blow off the April Knob Creek. And mm -hmm. um, Okay. And uh, I really want to do the gambler and just have some fun. I don't. Yeah, want to, let's don't do want this. To... Can you have sponsors? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Let's do this thing, man. Because I'm, I'm thinking about. We'll get Rod Mills to sponsor us. He'll give us the five hundred bucks to buy a vehicle. <laughs> hey, come on. Done. Done. Let's go. Done, man. <laughs> so basically, this is what brought to you by Rod Mills? Rod Mills. Rod Mills. Scorched Earth, Earth Firearms. <laughs> Super Fair cool. Ooh, coming at you. Of <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Order. That would be cool, man, to like build a... of the right <laughs> What would you buy for 500 bucks? What car? What would I buy? Uh, well, you could tell us, Rod. I, uh, you know, I, uh, okay, so the idea behind this, Rod, if you don't know familiar with it, it's mm -hmm. called the Gambler 500. You're, gotcha. supposed to, you're supposed to fill up with a $500 car. You mm -hmm. have to be street legal. It's 500 miles of off-road trails and stuff driving okay um, land, they, land they, expedition stuff they, it's a two-day event so right. you drive one day yeah you, you camp and that that's first night it's just a party you know people have fun it's not a race per se there's no winners it's just a fun event you know mm -hmm. so um and then the second day you know it ends i guess i don't know if it ends up back where you started at and it's all for fun um like i said it's not uh, there's not going to be like a race race you know with, but um yeah. So you bring whatever you drive, whether it's a, you know, whether it's a freaking five hundred dollar car with the fender wheels cut out and big tires stuck on it, or no, yeah. no windows, no, you know, people do all kinds of shit. They paint them weird colors and. Um, right. Yeah. You know, Ryan Quick says, "Where can you buy a running vehicle for five hundred bucks?" Craigslist. <laughs> it could be done. It could be done. It could be done. They're out yeah. there. Can you we know, get? Might... Can we get a Gremlin and make it a, a four before? You complicate things, man. Okay, we get a gremlin. We'll just cut everything off of it and make well, it like you a. You can sand find rail. a gremlin. You just and then we get some big ass tires and put it on it and <laughs> uh, and, and knock out most of the windows and. Yeah. And, I'm know. pretty sure we cannot get a quattro for five hundred bucks. Um, you'd be surprised. Oh really? Oh okay. Then that's I mean, it, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dated quattro, but yeah, any um, quattro is good. <laughs> old so school, or old school Subi. I've got a yeah, motor. I've got a motor. I know, and I've seen them lately with that need motors and stuff. And I was thinking about you. Yeah, I've got a. That's a boxer. That's a boxer motor that well, I, I have there. Right. Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because they do all kinds of weird ass shit. They, uh, I've seen where they take the little cars and extend the act, uh, the extend the um, the axles out so the so the so the big tires are outside the body of the car. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able. To, you gotta be able. To, it's gotta be street legal. So. Yeah, I was watching a video on YouTube where a guy took a Miata 
and made it into an off road. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. It was cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was just, I'm, I'm assuming that it was still just rear wheel drive, but you know, right, 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 right. Yeah. if you get something all wheel drive and convert it, maybe just like get rid of all the body panels and everything, put a roll cage on it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not really, like I said, it's, it's just, you bring what you, you bring what you bring and you drive it. And, and I guess everybody helps each other get through the stuff because some places might be muddy. Some places might be rocky. You know, and then it's just a party in the halftime, and then, yeah, you know, it's just fun. So. Yeah, the pants says his last three vehicles were each under five hundred bucks. <laughs> so it can uh, be done. It can oh, be I've, done. I've driven five hundred five hundred dollar yeah. cars. So have I, yeah. I mean, I think I had it. Was it a Chevy Sprint? I remember right when I first met Lola, I had a Chevy Sprint <laughs> for I don't know. I think I had that thing for forty eight hours. <laughs> Wow. There was a there was a time when I had a I had a new car just every other so often I'd I'd find another one and oh I'll drive that for a while and find another one and drive that one for a while and yeah yeah he says the car he's driving now the pants is under four hundred yeah. so there you go yeah there's there's you can get you can get them out there I mean it might need a little bit of work but yeah um it could yeah. be done oh yeah be we should do this Walter I think we should do uh, this I, I'm I'm real game because I do have things like a Pinsgauer and all that too so um. Yeah, um, we can do. We could take something out there. Oh yeah, there'd be more than one thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, um, so I think Brian Quick says there's a Top Gear episode where Richard yeah. Hammond took a Subaru through Africa. Um, Subaru? I don't remember him. Was it a Subaru? No, there was a. He had a. I think they had a BMW. Yeah. Um, um, he in Africa he did a BMW and they then had he, three different cars. Yeah, he did some one of those cheap Eastern European cars at one time too that he actually brought back to England. Oh, okay. But I don't I don't remember him doing it in a Subaru. Anything's yeah. possible. I remember the B, the Beamer. Yeah, the BMW. I remember that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was because that was like a seven series BMW or something, or a five series BMW or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we should do this. We should make it happen somehow. You know. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I'm I'm game. Yeah. I just like I said, they always it seems like whenever something cool's going on, they put it on the damn weekend where. I'm, yeah. And if we need a loan, Rod will get us a loan. I got the money. I got the money. I got the money, man. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're over the nine o'clock hour. Oh, let's we are. Wow. That was yeah. Hey, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh David Reed says he has a nine nineteen ninety Toyota forerunner. Badass. Know, yeah. Man. Forerunners are badass. I don't think you can get a forerunner for five hundred bucks. Though. You can get I, really uh, it you know. Mm, that might be good. I saw I saw uh, 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 one of the Volvo cars out there that's all wheel drive. It was one time was real close to that price. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. we can so, do you this. You know, thing. it all depends. You know, you're gonna take all the interior stuff out. The interior is bad. Just strip it out, man. Toss it, yeah. Yeah, you don't care yeah. about any of that. You're gonna. It's party time, man. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Maybe a keg of beer in the back of the uh, thing or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're gonna rhino line this bad boy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Man, we'll put hammocks. Like we'll put hammocks in the car. We don't need seats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, hammocks. Wow. Ham hammocks. <laughs> hammocks for everyone. Yeah. yeah. We'll we'll totally do that. Okay, cool. So you know what? All Let's right. wrap it up. Rod, what do you have going on, man? What are you up to? Oh uh, man, this is my first free weekend from the NFL and um uh shooting. Uh been doing a lot of classes lately uh with uh, a lot of the uh Sheriff's offices down uh, down here in Jacksonville, uh, getting uh, helping. Uh, I'm basically calling myself a shooter's coach now. Uh, so um, instead of a firearms instructor, I'm a shooter's coach. So basically, I've been helping a lot of sheriff's officers down here get qualified for their tests. Um, this weekend, honestly, um, I don't have anything planned as far as shooting or the NFL. So I'm going to be doing a lot of housework uh, this weekend. So. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> That'll be my thing. Yeah, we're still waiting for tickets, but, you know, no rush. Well, you said you don't like football, so uh, there's no need for me to well, get you I a mean, ticket, you know. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can have a contest for people to come see a game with you or something, you know. Or I'll come <laughs> hang out with you. Well, me and Walter will come up there and hang out with you in a game. I don't have to, you know. Oh, there's okay. cheerleaders, you right? Me and Walter? Huh? No, okay, okay, I get it. No, yeah. I said me and Walter. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. That's... yeah, we can come well, hang out with you. It's, it's not all about the football. I mean, you know, there's hey. cheerleaders, right? There's cheerleaders. <laughs> it is, it is. Well, guys, if you get a chance, uh, stop by my page on Facebook uh, at uh, Scorch Earth Firearms Training 
or you can go to my YouTube YouTube page. Uh, you can friend me on there and uh, go to Scorched Earth uh, Firearm Training there as well. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, Rod, for coming Thank on. You. Walter? Oh, you're uh, welcome. Walter, what's going on with you, man? Street bug. Street bug. Um, Picatinny rail adapters are finished, going off to be anodized tomorrow. That's one thing going on. Um, keep an eye on the Facebook and Instagram. I posted a little video this afternoon of me showing that thing off, spinning it around and everything, making everybody dizzy. Um, yeah, I'm just working in the shop, uh, working towards getting ready to go to Knob Creek. We'll be at Knob Creek uh, on the weekend of the, I think it's the 11th and 12th, something like that. We leave on the 10th to go up there, which is a Wednesday. But that weekend, we'll be up there at Knob Creek. C18 in the pole barn, if you're up that way. Um, All right, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, so that's coming up for if us. If we're on air, are you going to be coming live from the creek? I'll try to do it. The the cell service is, eh. It's about, um, okay. I'll, I'll try to do it yeah. a few times, yeah. Yeah. Um, who say wants to know if the Jags have male cheerleaders? Uh, not. That's called Rod Mills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <right. your> leader. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I can't. Uh, well, anyway, not in Duval, not in Duval <laughs> County. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so cool. Make sure that you follow uh, Walter on Safety Harbor Firearms on Instagram. And uh, Rod, do you get, do you have an Instagram? I don't have Instagram. Oh man, man, you need to have an Instagram. How are you going to see those Israeli I IDF? Babes, if you're not on Instagram, man. I'm Why do you me. think I, I didn't want you to turn off that <laughs> no. video? Because I don't have it. <laughs> you got to get up on there. And I recommend everyone gets up on uh, Safety Harbor Firearms Instagram. Okay. Here, let me see if I can get Check this it out. to Check it out. Let me That's see right. If I can get this to lock in here. There you go. Look, see Safety Harbor Firearms. And he's getting close to 10,000. Come he's on now. working on it, man. We got to help him get there. You working know, he's 9,484. Man, we're getting close. Working on it. Got to get um, him over the line. Rod, make an Instagram and, you know, follow Walter. Yeah. Okay. All know, right. Quick life. Don't be yeah. down and around and nothing. <laughs> get on, a, get on it. <laughs> let, let, me, let me go now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, listen, we want to thank everyone. We want to thank, like, all the people that help us do this. You know, um, obviously, like, Gun Prime is helping us out today. Franklin Armory also helps us specifically do the podcast. ATI Outdoors. Safety Harbor Firearms, the aforementioned, right there. Andrew's Custom Leather, and uh, Fort Scott Munitions. Fort Scott Munitions. Yes. So thanks to all those guys for helping us out doing the show. And the people who sponsor us on uh, Patreon is Patreon slash Hank Strange. Uh, Walter, thanks a lot for the for the um, You're welcome. for the skull shirt, man. Now I got another skull shirt in the collection. I uh, I Very consulted nice your it. significant other on that and gave her some yeah. choices and she told me that's the one. The right one. Absolutely. Only thing better was if the guy had a mohawk. Yeah. I'm digging. I'm digging. I actually comb my hair like this sometimes. Well, I just go, don't, man. you know, I, Rod Mills can't handle it. So <laughs> So I don't I don't put that out there. One of these days I'll I'll share a picture of me doing a comb over so uh, Rod's <laughs> head can explode. <laughs> Trying to figure out how the hell I do that. <laughs> so thanks <laughs> to everyone. Juices and berries. Juices and berries. <laughs> Juices and, absolutely. <laughs> thanks to everyone. Uh, really, my my secret is uh, you know, my dad my dad had uh copulations with an Indian chick. So <laughs> That's, uh, how you do it. That's how it goes down. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we are out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Right. See ya. Peace.